everyone. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day so far. I know a few of you are talking about your uh, Twitch recaps. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, when people sent me their recaps and I saw how many hours they had watched me, I was like, I've streamed that many hours. <laughs> We spend a lot of time playing Sims together. We really, really do. Okay, anyway, let me get my Sims game open really fast. And then we can play some Not So Berry. <laughs> we do and it's worth it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. But truly, we spend a lot of time together. I look so cute, oh thanks. I bought this shirt for TwitchCon um, and it was cream. And then when I washed it, it turned white. It it looks a little bit like not so good in real life, but on camera it looks fine. It turned like you know when you like wash a white thing and then it gets like weird looking. I even wash it with other white things, and it got kind of ruined. Um, it looks kind of bluish gray, and not cream. But you can't tell in the stream. And I don't leave the house much, so <laughs> it's okay as long as it looks good on camera. It's fine. <laughs> It looks like lavender, does it? I wonder if like the pink room is sort of contributing to that at all. It might be. Um, but anyway. <laughs> uh, I hope you all have had a good day so far today. Becky and Squid and Maddie and Courtney and Ducky and Phobia and Beck. Uh, awkward Person and Reagan and Emma and Mal and Secret, Allison, Mary, Singing Mushroom, Elizabeth, oh no. I think I'm good. Nikki as well, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Uh, let me set my game up so that we can- oh, it's back. Alright, so that we can play. <laughs> um, it went from an old YouTube video of mine to Twitch, really, Mellow? <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm glad to see you here. I'm glad you catch us live. Um, oh my god, we have three babies. They're children. I haven't played Not So Berry in like two weeks or something. This is- I'm gonna need a second. I'm gonna need to like- compose myself, you know, <laughs> to prepare myself for the number of kids that we have to deal with. <laughs> At least they're not toddlers. At least they're not toddlers. We are past that point in our lives. We've moved on. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, little Lou and Flora and Barracks and Demon and Loveheart and Nikki and Mary and everybody. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Yeah, we'll do the advent calendars, Drew. I always do the advent calendars. Don't worry. I always wait a few minutes after I go live, though, to give people a chance to come in. Um, ooh. Fix the lag. Unlag. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Do I think anyone's going to age up today? Um, Raisin's got seven days. I feel like normally in a not so berry stream, we usually play like six days. It's so, oh my god, there's a cat. <laughs> I, so maybe not quite, maybe not quite. Um, Bonnie has 10 days, yeah, so I don't think we're uh, ready yet. I guess we could always do it earlier, but I don't know. It depends how fast I play, because sometimes I'm, I get a bit distracted, I'm a bit slow, so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Nico and Sammy and Sleepy and Cafe and Lou and Flora, thank you all for the subs. Um, have we decided on the air for my for my YouTube legacy? Uh, the poll is still open, I think. I can't actually tell if it if I can end it or if it has ended. I also can't vote in my own poll, which frankly I find kind of rude. Um, but as far as I am concerned, Baby is winning my YouTube poll by a lot. Also, 79,000 votes. I haven't checked that in a couple days. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because, um, it's because the community tab post gets posted to, like, everybody. And I think people like polls. I think they just vote in any poll they see. Um, but there's a community tab post on my YouTube channel where we're voting for the air of our, uh, YouTube legacy challenge, so... Um, the ghost in the backyard. Oh, it's not a ghost. That's <laughs> oh, that's just my sim named Grave. He's just gray. He's alive. He's alive. Half alien, but he's alive. <laughs> that's really funny. Anyway, he's not dead. Not dead. Oh, bye, Snap. Thank you. Are you gonna go sit behind us? We can have a cat cam if you sit behind us. Uh, my fan, part-time server. Thank you, Robbie, as well with the subs. Thank you all so much. 
definitely looks like a ghost. Yeah, I think I think he does look a bit like a ghost. Um, that's all right. Ghost, stop that! She literally has a tree in here, and she scratches it half the time. But then when I go live, she starts acting up. Okay, hang on. Let me get her cat cam ready. Let me set it up. Hopefully she stays where she is so that we can keep a cat cam. Yes! <laughs> okay, let me put it over here. Um, hopefully she stays. She has to sit. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is kind of weird, Snap. That's fine. Stay wherever you want. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Sit wherever you want. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and chat, I think, shall we do our advent calendars? Should we start with those? I think so. She looked when she heard them. I don't blame her. <laughs> okay, let's start with uh, my least favorite one. This one has little tiny stuffed animals in it uh, that we can hang as ornaments on our tree. Yesterday, I got this tiny frog in a Santa hat. It's actually been improving. Uh, the frog in a Santa hat, one of the best ones so far. So, feeling good about that. Hoping that today will be good. Uh, we're on day 14. Oops. All right. It looks pink. Oh no, I kind of ruined it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'm good, I'm good. Got it, got it. Oh, it's day 14! My birthday's the 14th, I like the number 14. No pressure. <laughs> it's a little bunny! Wait, wait, this is my favorite one yet! Honest! That's the best one! Oh, that's so cute! I'm so- I'm so excited about this. This couldn't have gone better. Okay. Day 14, winning so far. What mini brand do we get? Give it a snap right now. No, she'll kill it! <laughs> yeah, I put them on the tree. You can kind of see a few of them back there. Like, the blue one was a mouse and stuff. I don't know. Alright, day 14. It's a big number. Doesn't mean it's a big item, but... Ready? The back says, get fired up. That was the first thing I saw. <laughs> it's hot tamales, okay. I've never had these. Fierce cinnamon flavored candy. America's number one cinnamon candy. I don't think that that's a very tough contest. I don't think there's a lot of cinnamon candies. <laughs> I like that it says get fired up. Can I eat these? Sugar, corn syrup, modified food starch, contains less than, I don't know if I can, I can't read, I can't read the ingredients. The whole thing is quite, as you can see, uh, the ingredients list is a bit small. That is it there. Oops, I can't point to it. Anyway, that's kind of fun. We've gotten two candies now. Yesterday we got candy too. We got Mega Mike and Ike's. <laughs> can read that much of it? Yeah, I mean, some of these things are like, uh, you know when you read, it's like half guessing <laughs> of like what the- so I can see it says like citric acid, dextrin, artificial flavors. It's just really tiny. Um, I don't think they're vegan though. I would be surprised if they were. But it doesn't matter, it's nothing that we get in the tiny- it's a- it's a, it's a cardboard box. <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> it's a toy. <laughs> I was just saying I never had them before. Um, but anyway, this honestly was pretty good. Candy and a bunny. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, anyway, we've got our uh, advent calendar open. I wanted to play the Not So Berry Challenge today. Um, I need to kind of catch myself up to speed with what we've been doing because I haven't played in a couple of weeks. Um, all right, Matt and and uh, Week and Aqua and Lilith with the sub gifts. 
uh, Emma and Gabby and Hunter and Noemi and Mylene and Lilith. Uh, Part-time Simmer, thank you all so much, Lilith, for the gifted subs. Shelby, Allison, Maisie, Blue Shell, Cilantro. Um, also, someone just submitted a report to us about a account on Twitch that is trying to sell my merch. They don't even follow me. I don't have- I don't have a Twitch account to sell merch, by the way. If you come across something like that, that's not me. <laughs> what the heck? Are they, like, going into people's chats and doing that? Because that's so bad. Oy, well... Um... <laughs> well... Oh my god, they have a fake store? It's not even my merch! Look at this! <laughs> this website is not me! Oh my god, if you come across something like this, uh, let us know so that we can, like, report it. Um, that's really not good. <sighs> I... There's a bunch of fake merch around, like, people put it up on, like, Redbubble and stuff, but, yeah, um... LilSimsyShop.com <laughs> LilSimsyShop.com is the real merch website. There is no other merch website. Oh, good god. <laughs> I don't have- I'm too stressed out to deal with this right now. <laughs> I've had such a long day. Okay, I'm gonna send all the kids to bed, I think. Maybe I'll make them shower first, but... I'm gonna send all the kids to bed, and then, um, we should be good to go. Do you wish to use the bathroom as well? Um, do you want to go to sleep there and here? Come along. This is gonna be the plum gen, Alina, um, once everybody's a little bit older. This sim has pink hair because she isn't technically, uh, one of the sims in the generation. Uh, she's a, a stepkid of our Sim Grave, so I didn't force her to take part in our purple plans. Um, I feel like she didn't have to. <laughs> uh, Mel, Piney, Sleepy, and Lilith, and Friendly, and Matt, and everybody, thank you so much. I'm so sorry if I missed anything. So I'm not trying to. Feeling a bit overwhelmed. <sighs> anyway. You downloaded Sky and you've attended three or more concerts since my stream of it? Really, Mina? That's so fun. Dan, um, cut down a video of the Sky stream today, and he was like, watching the video back made me want to play it. <laughs> he was like, I want to go to the concert. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so she's a part of the family, but not like, officially part of the generation. I- I only force the Sims that are like, uh, heir candidates to, um, to have the, uh, like, hair color and everything like that, so I'm not, like, forcing her to take part in the purple nightmares. She's allowed to have whatever color room she wants and stuff. <laughs> she's not- she's not stuck with us like that. She's lucky. Um, also, we haven't 100% decided on the air, but we're pretty sure we want Raisin to be the air. Because Raisin is funny. So. That's the plan. That is the plan. 3.53 AM! Go back to bed! Oh my gosh. At least sleep until like five or something. Three is too early. Two, two, too early. Four thirty. Okay, whatever. Just get up. Love the name Raisin. I honestly like the name Raisin so much. Also, the way that she's just sitting there like watching. I don't want to look at her. I don't want to turn around and make eye contact with her in case she like comes over here and leaves her cat cam spot. But the way she's just sat she's not even sleeping. She's just watching. She's like perfectly loafing in front of the camera and just watching. <laughs> she's not even asleep. Usually she sleeps on the cat cam. Uh, why does she look angry? Because she's a cat. She kind of has that resting face. It's just how she looks. No judgment. Judgment free zone. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need to try and like really finish up some skills today as well. I might see about serving up- you know what? Make some pancakes and stuff. Um, I think that would be good. Reminds you of your dog, really? <laughs> That's fun. Um, oh, really smooth? That's no good. Uh-oh. Okay, you're playing with a toy. Do you want to take a bath and stuff? Take a bath, 
use the toilet. Oh my goodness. What's that thing in the corner of the kitchen? Oh, this? That's one of my aliens. That's a live blue slug. Thank you for asking. So. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, nothing to see here. Everyone just come eat, please, so that we can all be good. Okay, you're finishing bathing. Use the bathroom, you can get some food. Can we name the slug? Ah, uh, did we name this one already or was that a different one? I know we named one of them. Does she leave already? Oh, that was short lived, but it's okay. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Uh, little Ultra and Destiny and Shadow and Awesome and Mel and Cece, thank you all for the subs. Hey Snap, do you want to sit with me? Snappy. She's already gone. She didn't turn when I said her name. She's left the room. She went out the door. Oh, I almost let my water bottle over. She oh my god, this kid. <laughs> the slippers just scared me so much. This is Barney. Um. So. You know, dinosaur slippers. <laughs> I just like jump scared myself with those. <laughs> okay, I think all the kids will be ready for school as soon as um, as soon as eight comes around. Ah, uh, Plancy, are those from the Star Wars pack? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, Bonnie, go to school. Everyone, go to school. Have a good day at school. Goodbye. Um, Red and Frog and Annie and, and, uh, Loki, thank you all for the subs, too. I think those are just base game, though. I'm pretty sure it's base game. Uh, but I don't know if it's, like, deluxe edition or something or not. Um, okay, so we need to get the parenting skill up. <sighs> we finished the fitness skill, and we need to work on singing. Also charisma for work. Oh god. We're level 9 though, so we could probably try and finish the charisma first. Get promoted at work. And then just like really work on skills. Um. But. You always think Grave is freezing to death? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody always thinks that. He's just half an alien. So he's just gray. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Understandably confusing, though. Oh, I should give the dog a bath. Oh my god. I have too many sims in my household. It's kind of scaring me. Would you like to give Gus a bath? Alright. I forgot it was the very challenge and seeing Grave confuse you so much. Oh, I bet it did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to alarm you with my alien sims. Yeah, Deluxe Edition, um, if you guys didn't know about that, they sold it, uh, they still sell it. And it costs a little bit more money than the, the regular base game, and it came with a few kind of random things. Um, probably not something that's worth, uh, paying for, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, so they just had, like, extra stuff in it, basically, a few random little things. But not the, the slippers that we're talking about. <laughs> Those are, those are regular base game. Okay. I'm just gonna speed through the day, honestly. See if we can max some skills. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. What's the new ornament today? Oh, it was a bunny! Look, so cute! It's actually really cute. Yeah, there's a tiki bar in the deluxe version. Um, I think that there's also like the up all night party edition or something. I don't know what the difference between the two of them is. Really, you, if you're curious, you should just Google it so you can see pictures, because I'm not, like, remembering 100%, but... Um... Yeah, I don't know. There's a couple things. <laughs> How do you know if you have it or not? I... Bestie, you gotta look up what items come in it. I... They don't have, like, a marker, um, so you just gotta Google what items come in it, and then you'll see if you have them or not. Um, or I guess you could probably see if it sells you the upgrade on Origin still or not. Um... Or EA app or whatever. Okay. Storm keeps calling me. Leave me alone. I want to get ready for work. I want to get ready for work. I should make a wreath with my ornament plushies. Oh, that's kind of cute, Lucid. I really like the idea of keeping them on the tree. I know you can kind of see a few little dots of different colors, but they're cute on my tree in here. Um, 
So I might keep them on the tree next year too, but I guess I could always make a wreath out of them because they're kind of cute. <laughs> um, all right, would you like to get some leftovers? Yes, yeah, Storm's married name is Storm McCloud. I, that couldn't have worked out better and we didn't even do it on purpose. How funny is that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come talk to the, uh, the dog for a sec. Do you miss out on a lot if you don't buy Deluxe and play with normal base game? No, guys, guys, I really don't mean to like, I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> I feel like I scared a bunch of you. It's just a bunch of random little items. There's like a couple hats and a couple clothing pieces. It's really like fine if you don't have the Deluxe Edition. You're like, there's not any like big items that you're you're gonna be really upset to miss out on. Um, you, you don't really need it. Um, it's not a lot of stuff at all. It's a couple random things. Um, Nothing that's like, you know, life-changing, so don't worry about it. Don't feel like you're uh, needing to buy it or whatever. Uh, if you're gonna pay money for a Sims thing, I would rather buy like a, a pack or like a kit or something instead of buying the upgrade because it'll come with more stuff. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna make all of the kids try and do some uh, school projects and stuff because we need to get some skills. It is rather urgent. I wanna do a solar system. You have no choice. You must do it. Hey, Rowan, thanks for the raid, by the way. Um, I hope you're having a good day so far. Um, do you wanna start working carefully on that? I guess I didn't make the other two do it. The other two don't really need to because they're not gonna be the heirs, do they? <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but I don't know. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, just playing with it. Sorry, I, <sighs> you scared me. This kid, oh my god. Um, all right. Uh, I always get scared when they go near the pond that they're gonna hurt themselves. No, the kids can't die in there, I don't think. They can't even jump in, so you don't need to worry about it. It's just like the act of them being near it that's kind of alarming. <laughs> even if they're gonna be fine and they can't get hurt by it because the kids can't even go in there, there's something about it that's still scary. <laughs> All right, level seven of the mental skill, that's pretty good. Get it higher. All right. Oh no, I forgot about work. Oh God, I needed to get promoted. Oh, Simsy. What is wrong with you? I have to work hard. I think he already is. Yeah, okay. And you've got work at 6 p.m. That is terrible hours. Okay. Anyway, you wanna get some leftovers or something? Once you're all gone, we'll be able to... Oh, you're tense from a poor exam score. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watching the Let's Play for the first time is alarming. Oh, oh. Because of the graves? Yeah. It's in my defense. We've played through like 14 generations. So I've had a lot of time to collect these. They're not all recent. Some of them are, but it's not, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> what could possibly be alarming here? At least a few of them died of old age. You know, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's just my little fence, you know? That's all, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can um, finish this project and then maybe do another one after that. Yeah, they would have died of old age by now anyway. You know, it, like, so it's okay. <laughs> At this point, they'd be dead anyway. It's fine. There's there's 82 graves. Yeah. Um, I probably should stop hovering over them. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> How long until you finish this? Okay, let's actually think about this not so berry situation because we gotta really start plotting our plans for the next generation. Um, so we're on gen four right now, the gray gen. Um, we have to finish the aspiration bodybuilder one. We already did that. Uh, max the athlete career, we're level nine, so we're doing okay. Um, we need to finish the singing, parenting, and athletic skills. We're done with, what? No, no! No! No, I didn't even know Gus was old! Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to play anymore. 
I can I actually close the game? I, I forgot Gus was old. That's not fair. No, 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 no. This is the worst day of my life. What am I supposed to do? Grave fears death too much to plead? Oh my god. I don't know if you even can plead for dogs. <sighs> can you just- can you just take Gus? I can't. Please, I can't watch it anymore. I just can't. <sighs> I don't even have enough space. I am literally out of space. <sighs> This is unbelievable. All right, mods, can we update that command counter to say 83? <laughs> oh, Gus, I'm so sorry. The 83rd grave. <sighs> what am I even supposed to do now? If you missed it, uh, the dog just died of old age. I didn't kill anyone, but I was just talking about graves, so it makes me look bad. Oh no. <sighs> okay, well, I don't really know how to go on after this. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to. I loved Gra Gus so much. Almost said Grave. I loved Gus so much. He was such a good dog. I'm like genuinely devastated by this. Should we? Okay, I guess maybe tomorrow we can get another dog or a cat or something. I don't know. Well, I didn't kill a sim. My dog died of old age. It's not my fault. I know my title says I will try not to kill a sim, but I didn't. Every time we play this, somebody dies, and it's not my fault. Just for the record. <sighs> this is a disaster. Everyone's so upset, too. Oh my god. Okay, just go to sleep. Everybody, just go to sleep. This is fine. We've had a nice day. I'm gonna make uh, Grave stay up a little bit later and work on some skill building. Get a purple cat. I don't know if I'm ready for a purple cat yet. I feel like we're still kind of in the gray generation. Might get a gray cat still. And we can get a purple cat when uh, the purple gen sim is older. Because she's only a child. You know? You know? Maybe we'll wait. We'll give it a bit more time. We'll see. Gray cat named Earl. We were talking about naming a uh, pet Earl next. So we could always do... Um, Greyhound for Grey Gen though. Lily, my Greyhound just died. <laughs> Don't you can't. You can't tell me to get a Greyhound when my Greyhound just died. <laughs> Another one? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. It's too soon. <laughs> Why Earl? Like Earl Grey T, you know? You ever heard of it? Um Okay, anyway, we're not really building our skill very fast, but that's fine. You could probably just go- Oh, it's 2 a.m. Oops. Okay, go to sleep. You too. When the, like, death sound played, I really thought that it was killing one of my sims, and I was like, there's no way. It was just the dog, still devastating, maybe even more devastating, but, like, if one of the sims had died, chat would never let me live that down. So it's probably for the best <laughs> that it was the dog. <sighs> okay, anyway, King and Marinda and Andrew and Kiana and Aaron and uh, Nia, Leopard, Faded Potato, Ella, Mark, thank you all for the subs. The dog is a sim. I know, but if like one of the, like, I don't know, if like Graves' husband Eric died, you guys would never let me live that down. You know what? It was my fault. Even though you saw, you saw what happened. I didn't do anything, but you would still blame me. <laughs> Okay, as soon as it's morning, it's a little bit early, but as soon as it's morning, uh, I might try and adopt a cat. 
I'll look and see what cats are available for adoption, and if none of them are speaking to me and not gray enough, I'll uh, go into Cass and make one, I think. But I like the idea of a cat. Cat seems easier than a, than a dog to me right now. So... <laughs> raccoons? I don't know if I want to get a raccoon again. We've had one before. I don't know if I want another one yet. Do I read prime subs? Yeah, uh, King, I just read yours like two seconds ago. I'm sorry if you didn't hear me say it, but thank you for the prime sub. Um, I usually read the subs in waves and I, I literally just said yours. I know I did because it was the most recent one. Uh, but thank you again. Um, and Ariel, thank you for the bits too. A fox? Well, the foxes are dogs technically in game. Um, so I don't know if I will, uh, if I will get a fox. Um, but, I don't know. We'll look and see what we've got uh, available to us. And then we'll see. Are you gonna go to the bathroom or are you stuck? Oh my god, you got stuck! Look, they got stuck! Teleport! Use the bathroom. Oops. Oops. Yeah, a fox would be really good for the orange gen. I like that idea, actually. We'll do a fox in the orange gen, probably. So not just yet, but soon. Oh my god, these ghosts broke everything in my entire house. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Uh, okay, do you want to channel surf after you're finished? Luckily, we don't have to go to school today. We do have a fire toilet, Jan. It's this one. <sighs> it's caused me a lot of stress, but... Everything's fine. All right, let's go see what pets are available for adoption. Specifically looking for a gray cat. Um, this one, Coco could be cute. A British long hair. Mm, not sure about the British, but we could, <laughs> we could name Coco Earl and we could get Coco. <laughs> I might try that. Should we bring Coco here? I'd like to meet her. <laughs> Was George cute? Oh, I didn't see. Oops. Oops. Okay. Do you want to come get some leftovers? Where's Coco? <gasps> Hi! Oh my god, actually so cute. Wait. Can the kid be the one to do the adopting? That doesn't feel like it should be allowed. Look, it's letting me do it as a child. <laughs> How is that possible? I want a screenshot. Earl. This is a very large cat. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, my little bestie. Okay, I very much am excited about this. Okay. I'm sorry, I just saw someone who got banned. I was looking at their chat history. They're like obviously a troll, but wow. Their first messages were so normal. They're like, what about a fox? And then after that, they look like a witch. They said, you should get a fox, and then follow it up with, you look like a witch. <laughs> nice fourth message ever, buddy. I shouldn't acknowledge the trolls. That's a good one, though. I'm impressed, actually, with your ability to uh, to act so normal before you uh, jumped in there to the trolling. I look forward to their ban appeal. Yeah, that should be fun. Um, people type the, the most interesting things. But anyway, here's Earl. What are we? Friendly, curious, and playful? Oh! Earl, you look silly with a collar on. <laughs> you look funny because you're so fluffy. We could probably do a sweater for at least one outfit. Earl could wear like a little sweater. Earl could wear a little pizza sweater. Never mind, wear that all the time. You can only wear sweaters. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, we need to buy some toys. We need to get a litter box. Um, and then, 
I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> what a distinguished little cat. This makes up for Gus. We've already gotten over Gus. Guys, you can't say that. You can think it, but you can't say it. Gus only died a few minutes ago. <laughs> Guys, it's too soon. It's too soon. All right, we need to get a litter box. Oh, that, I had a rug there. It must have been ruined. Oops. Okay, we need to get a litter box. Uh, I'll probably get the fancy one. And then, oh, I don't need a toddler potty anymore. <laughs> I think I used to have it over here. Oh, I don't think I noticed the lights were clipping inside the house. That bothers me. Huh. Okay, well, I can, I can probably remove them because it is springtime. So. Think I need a cemetery? Oh, Eliza, I, I like having my graves in the front yard. Uh, for me, it's probably the most fun part of this whole challenge. So <laughs> I probably will never get rid of them. But okay, let me see. Maybe I'll have the kid try and befriend Earl so that we can be happier. We are the cemetery at this point, yeah. <laughs> we are the cemetery. <laughs> Ariel, Lily, Triangle, Isabel, Dizzy, and Jackson, thank you all for the subs. Um, yeah, we the, the graves are too iconic. We're gonna need to get a bigger lot though for the next generations probably, but we shall do what we can while we still can. All right, I built our relationship a little bit. We need to try and figure out, I mean, you have to max this charisma skill you also have to max parenting and singing. Maybe today you can try and help the kids with their homework. Oh my God, come help this one before they stop. Oh, did you already finish it? Oh no. Here, do yours. And then hopefully we can come, not you. Hopefully you can come help. Urgent. Chat, do I order Domino's? You're thinking about ordering pizza? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The answer is absolutely you should. Um, can you help with homework? Do you have to be starting it more? Console about death, sure. I want to teach to do homework. Hello? Help with homework. Help with... Am I scrolling past it or is it not there? Here, do you want to do yours? <laughs> he is a caretaker for her, yeah. I can, you can see I can remove his care dependent, so we are. But it wasn't under the parenting category. I can just encourage doing homework. Maybe she hadn't technically started it yet. I don't know. Well. I'll just keep... Uh... Well, no, I've already adopted his caretaker. I'm, I already am. Like, I could remove, but I'm not gonna do that. So I don't need to. I know that the, the help with homework is under friendly, but I'm not seeing it. It might just have not been started enough yet. But... Teach about responsibility. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We can just help the kids. The kids ones usually stand are like a little bit easier to find. I know I've been helping them a bunch, so. Maybe she's too old for help. Yeah, guys, I think it's not gonna show up because usually it shows up way faster than this and I'm not seeing it. So. Ah. I want you to help the kids though. So when she goes and starts, you have to... See, this one's right there. So I don't know why it was showing up. I think it's just bugging. I don't know. We can help with homework and then some projects afterward. That'll be good. That shall be good. Okay. 
finish this one. We'll help with the other one too. Did they change it in high school years? I don't know, Plancy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Chicken Pink, thank you for the subs, both of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Eric did just aban abandon dinner, by the way. Make your veggie sliders. Homework complete. Okay, now do your extra credit. We're doing both. And we're helping with both. Did Earl already run away? No, Paper Story is right there. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Come along. Wait, are you not helping? Oh, are you at work? Oh, I forgot. I forgot that he had work. Oh. Yeah, I suppose you should do that. You should probably go to work. Yeah, good point there. Um, you make a good point there. Anyway, before my cat or my dog died in game, I was talking about what we need to do for the legacy. Uh, so this next sim, uh, Gen 5, is the Plum Gen. We have to have the Genius, Non-Committal, and Dance Machine traits. Um, we are gonna have the Renaissance Sim Aspiration, and we're gonna have multiple careers in our life. We have to master a lot of skills, so I think it's in our best interest to try and complete this aspiration to get the, like, mentally gifted, um, reward trait. So, luckily, we're kind of getting there. We have level 8 mental skill. We need to craft some more emotional potions. So maybe I'll come do those quickly. So. I like this plan. The romance festival's in town. Ooh. How do our sims have so much money? Oh, we've just been playing a lot for a long time. <laughs> Everybody's pretty uh, far along in their careers, and we're on the 14th generation, so. <laughs> Watch her start a fire? Oh god, don't even- I don't even want to think about that! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no pearl, I can show you everybody's pronouns. I'll go into Cass and do that. We'll do a little pronoun check so I can show you. Uh, Raisin had, I think, seven days until she aged up at the beginning of the stream. We've played through a couple days, Tortoise, so probably like five. Um, so Raisin is gonna be the heir, we think. Uh, she has she, her pronouns. This is her dad, Grave. Grave was the previous gen's heir, still is. He uses he, him pronouns. He's half alien, that's why he's gray, also the gray gen. Um, this is Grave's husband, Eric. Eric uses he, him pronouns. Eric had a daughter uh, with somebody else, so that's Grave's stepdaughter, Bonnie. Um, she uses she, her pronouns. And then Eric and Grave together, obviously, had Raisin. Um, and they also had Barney and uh, Aubergine, who are twins. Um, Aubergine uses they, them pronouns, and Barney uses he, him pronouns. So, hopefully that helps. Barney wears um, a dinosaur costume. Because... Named Barney. <laughs> so... <laughs> so... Anyway, they have a lot of uh, purple-themed names. Because they're the purple plum gen. Uh, so, yeah, we think Raisin's going to be the heir. We we decided we liked the name Raisin best. So we decided we wanted to, to use Raisin as the heir. That was what chat decided at least a couple weeks ago. So, anyway. <laughs> Just name him Barney. Yeah, Barney is a, is a fun name. I actually like the name Barney. Yeah, and Christine made um, a sim for Raisin to date named Bran. Raisin and Bran are going to be together. I think Bran is a teen though, right? So we'll we'll place Bran um, once everybody ages up, I believe. Let's make one last potion. But yeah, Christine made us a Bran <laughs> so that we can we can date them. I'm quite excited about that. Um, okay, it's prom. Oh, Bonnie, I'm sorry. It glitched again, though, and it didn't take me. So it doesn't even matter, I guess. Oh, no. Serve dinner. Do you want to try and cook something? It didn't let me go. I think the themed names are very on brand. Get it? Good one, MC Goddess. <laughs> Get it? Like, brand. Anyway, prom has been broken recently. So, no, this is the purple gen, Krista. Uh, I realize that, that Bonnie kind of throws people off a lot. I think if Bonnie had purple hair, people wouldn't get confused, because this is kind of a uh, bright hair color that kids have. 
Um, but Bonnie isn't like, isn't forced to take part in our purple shenanigans because she didn't sign up for this. Um, she, she got married into this family. Her dad, uh, married my legacy sim. So I felt like I shouldn't force her to participate in the purple gen stuff. She should be allowed to wear whatever she wants. <laughs> She's allowed her own style. She doesn't have to, um, partake in, in, uh, our mess. <laughs> she didn't sign up for this. The kids aren't triplets, right? No, they, um, uh, Raisin is a little bit older. Well, we don't want to get demoted, so leave that alone. Um, but yeah, the, the kids aren't triplets. They're just all kids right now, but Bonnie, not Bonnie, what am I saying? Raisin is a little bit older, so. Uh, Miss Weezy and Ginger and, and, um, Sweet Music and Rotten Lady and Sophie and Landon, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like to use the bathroom? Maybe you can get some food? Grab a serving? Graves back from work? We're miserable? <laughs> oh god. Claire, I'm not sure if Raisin lined up today. We'll- we'll see how far along we get, but Raisin has... five days until she ages up, so it's possible we could get there by the end of the stream today. Um... Okay. Okay, put everything away. Do you want to go straight to bed? It's only 9.30, but... Yeah, the bell's on the gallery, Nario. I built this a uh, few months ago, so if you scroll back far enough, you'll see it. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna have Grave practice some singing, get the skill up a little bit higher, and build the fun. Oh, do you see it jump down like that? That was so weird. Oh, they're all sad because our dog died, Wobble. We've had a rough day. <laughs> It's- it's been a rough day in this household. Um, so everybody's having a hard time. <laughs> we should be, uh, past the sadness, hopefully, somewhat soon. Oh, Grave is not even tired at all. Earl's running away! What?! I only got Earl today! Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have- We have food. Do you think it's glitching? Earl doesn't look like they're running away. I think it might have been a bug. Because Earl's still right there. <laughs> Earl's not gone. I think we're fine. We have a litter box. Yeah, it's right here. We've got everything we need. I can give Earl a treat. I don't think Earl's actually leaving. I think it's just a glitch. Come on. Come on, talk to Earl. Oh, Earl might be leaving. Oh, Earl's leaving. I don't want to hear it. Chat, I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't- I- It's been a long day. I don't want- There's- This is a judgment-free zone. Everyone, shh. Don't. I'm not accepting this right now. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, the cat's just exploring. Um, Earl was excited to be here uh, in this new city, and and Earl wanted to to take a look around. It's fine. It's been like a day. I. All right, you're crying in the shower. Big relate, honestly. Big relate. <laughs> Why is he all silver? Because it's the not so berry challenge, Sammy. So this is the gray gen. Uh, and also, his mom was an alien, so he's- he's half alien, so that's partially why he's gray. Um, but- okay, stop crying! Quit it! You're being so dramatic! Okay, everyone to bed. You can eat your food, and then we'll go to sleep. Ready? Everyone to sleep? I want a peaceful evening! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I've been, um, today has been a long day, both for my sims and for me. <laughs> First of all, my sims dog died, which is really hard for me to handle. But also, I've been recording, I like, so much the past few days, and it's, I'm gonna keep it up. But like, yesterday and today both, I've been trying to do so much recording YouTube videos, so that I can be pre-recorded a little bit for Christmas and like for when Dan's family comes and stuff. Um, 
but I, <laughs> I'm really trying to not miss any uploads. Uh, and so it, it's just, it's, <sighs> bear with me. <laughs> it's been a long day, <laughs> but we got it. No, Earl didn't die, Sammy. Earl uh, ran away, but they'll come back. No, CC, I haven't posted yet. I'm gonna wait till they wake up in the morning. It's okay. We can post the listing pet in the morning. It's fine. It's fine. But anyway. Okay, I've missed a couple uploads. Well, Christine, I know that, but I would like to not. <laughs> so it's not you guys that need to reassure me. It's uh, it's Lil Simsy that's the problem. I really, really would like to not miss any uploads. So um, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm still, I still got it in my head. So yeah, see, and Shella said if miss an upload, our friendship is over. Oh, it's summer. Oh my goodness. That's kind of exciting. Okay. Do you want to fill this bowl? Uh, get left over. I would believe that though. Shella's going to abandon me. Okay. I'm going to have one of the kids post an alert about the missing pet now that they're awake. And then we can try and get some leftovers. Anyway, I would be able to record like while Dan's family is here. It's more just that like, I don't want to um, to make Dan have to do a lot of editing while his family is here, you know? Um, so I'm trying to get ahead uh, for that so that Dan doesn't have to like work a lot while they're here. Cause they're coming all the way from England. They've never been to the US before, you know, it's Christmas. So <laughs> that's kind of why, but anyway, I can record, I'm fine. <laughs> but Anyway, uh, let's see. We can sell all of these things. The kids have all day today. Is everybody off work today too? No. Oh, okay. We're getting up early. We're gonna help the kids with projects. That's the plan. I want to make um, one of them do another solar system project, I think. You have 28 people at your Christmas every year? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've, um, I've never really had, I guess, like, my dad's family, uh, back in the day, we used to have more people that would come to Christmas back then, um, but then, like, as all my cousins kind of grew up and got older, people stopped coming and, like, traveling to my grandparents' house and stuff, so we haven't had, like, a huge Christmas in a while, um, so there's gonna be 11 of us with my family and Dan's family on Christmas, which is kind of fun, so... I look forward to it. Your grandma has 11 kids, so you have a ton of cousins. Oh my gosh, I bet Christmas is huge. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, we're kind of hosting, they're all gonna stay here, Shella. Uh, we're kind of gonna split it between my parents' house and my house though, like um, meals and stuff, so. But am I cooking something for Christmas? Oh, don't worry, I'm cooking most everything for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, this is Lil Simsy's big effort to have a uh, veggie Christmas, so I'm, uh, gonna do a lot of cooking. People will help, but, um, I did it last year, too, and I really liked it. I really like cooking, so, um, I'm excited about it. No, Dan's whole family, his siblings are coming, too, uh, Lil Bird, which is kind of fun. We're doing another one. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Everybody's coming, so. Okay. Would you like to enthuse about interests? Fire up, maybe? Oh, maybe you could like do some parenting talks. Do you want to encourage some recent behavior too? That would be good. See if we can get the parenting skill up higher. Yeah, we're gonna do a baking stream this weekend, Anna. We're gonna do some gingerbread house decorating this weekend. Um, but anyway, how are we doing? Skill-wise, parenting level seven. That's not so bad. We really need to um, keep all of this up. <laughs> Trying to get the skill up as high as possible. We just gotta do a lot of encouragement, I guess. Um, do you wanna talk to these ones? Parenting, forced to? No, how about you influence this one to eat? And do you wanna influence this one to experiment on the science table? 
Why not? We've got work in an hour after this. There we go. Skill getting up. We're getting there. We are getting there. Maybe... Do you want to teach to say please, please and thank you or something? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, I kind of forgot about the movie night thing because he has to work until nine. So we have to do family movie night after he gets home from work tonight. Um, which will be a little bit late, but that's okay. It'll be good for us. Okay. Off you go. Okay, Eros, yes, <laughs> my cat eats meat. Um, I always, I, I, this is like a really sore subject for me because I feel like people are trying to accuse me of animal abuse when they say this. Um, cats are obligate carnivores, so cats have to eat meat. Regardless of my feel, I don't eat meat, cats have to eat meat, okay? So I would never force my cat to not eat meat. That's not safe, that's not okay. Cats have to eat meat to survive. So um, my cat obviously eats meat. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I, I know you probably didn't mean any harm with the question. I just always feel a bit defensive of like, okay, don't accuse me of that. <laughs> um, but anyway, I know you probably didn't know Eros, but a lot of people do know. And they're like, so do you not feed your cat properly? Like people kind of have that and I just can't. So I'm a bit defensive <laughs> because of how people are about it. Uh, but obviously my cat eat me eats meat. They have to. So, um, but Earl's back. Oh my gosh. Earl! <laughs> Earl! <sighs> uh, okay. Do you want a pet? Praise? Gift treat? <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to be mean necessarily when they say stuff like that. I think that people just, um... <sighs> I don't know. I, like, people are really argumentative about like <laughs> this sort of thing so um even when i didn't even bring it up <laughs> they bring it up and then you know whatever but i don't know if they're trying to be mean but um they like tend to assume things and you know whatever whatever the internet's weird <laughs> Draw the line of being accused of mistreating my cat, though. <laughs> Don't like that, so. All right. Do you want to keep, like, talking to the cat for a sec so that it doesn't run away again? Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Maybe all the kids could do a movie night, even if uh, the parents are at work. Maybe we could all watch a movie together. Lost Dog's Journey Home. That feels like a fun one to watch after our Sims dog died yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sniper, I understand that. I understand that maybe they're well-meaning, but you also have to understand how it can come across to a person who's like, I don't know, trying really hard to <laughs> take care of their pets so well. Like I'm coming from a place of loving animals and really caring for animals. So even if they're like, just so you know, and like trying to be like nice or whatever and like caring about Snap, it still feels accusatory even if they don't mean it that way. So I'm just explaining how I feel. I'm sure that you would understand too if this was happening to you. <laughs> it didn't even happen. I'm just, it's in my head. It has happened before though. Um, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> but people say all kinds of weird things to me. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, does she really? Oh gosh, Jasmine, that's so funny. Um, it's funny how excited cats get about like their, just pets in general about their favorite foods, you know? They like hear you opening the can and they're ready. <laughs> they're so excited. Um, all right. We watched a movie together, so I feel like we achieved the movie night goal. So that's good. We can probably make everyone else take care of some needs. How is your skill doing? Level 9 out of 10. Do you think I should do another project? I can't clone these when they're finished? Why? I feel bad making her just keep going out in the front yard, but like... <laughs> you gotta start working carefully again, friend. Sorry. We're, we're here for the skill building. Um, 
<laughs> your cats always hear your wife and you opening bean cans and they get so offended when they discover that the cans contain beans and not treats. Oh no. That's really funny. I don't- my um- my cat and my family's pets don't like react that way to all cans. They like know when it's their cans. I guess partially because of the timing of it too maybe, but um, that's good because that would be real sad. You're like opening a can of pumpkin to make some like pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving and the cats run up like, is this for me? No. <laughs> this is for my pie, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Um, my parents' dogs also get excited when the fridge opens. They're funny about that kind of thing. Um, your cat gets excited about soup, really? <laughs> That's so funny. I don't eat a lot of soup, um, so I, w I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I had more soup cans, they would react more, but... As we've discussed, I'm not a big soup fan. I shouldn't be talking about my controversial soup opinions on stream, but I'm not really a huge fan of soup, so I don't eat a lot of soup. Um, really, that's funny. Dogs are so funny about the foods they like. Um, but anyway, mashed turnips, they said the dog likes. <laughs> You're not a huge soup fan either? Good. That makes me feel so good about this. It's not just me. No movie night today? Well, Crooks, I tried to do it before this, the parents got home from work because I didn't think I'd have enough time. I didn't want to keep everybody up too late. So I did it while, with just the family, just the kids, while the parents were at work. I did it already. Oh, I did it already. Okay, let's go to sleep. Krista, thanks for the gifted subs, and Dab Dabney, and Brindleton, and Ash. Michelle, thank you all so much. Um, okay. Oh, are you cooking? That's cute. Ooh, your needs are very bad. Take a bath. Come along. Oh, see, that's the thing, Pink. I, um, I don't have a, a desire to eat soup on these cold winter days. <laughs> um, I live in Central Florida, so... Maybe if I lived elsewhere, I'd feel differently. Maybe that actually plays a role in it, to be honest. But yeah, that's not a, a feeling that I have. Did you make food for just yourself? That's so rude. I was out of food and you didn't even make more. Cook. What is wrong with you? Come on. Why are you up? And you broke it? Go back to sleep. I'm cheating needs. I've had a long day. My Sims dog died. I'm allowed to do what I want. Why won't you get in bed? See how weird that is? I'm cheating it more. I'm allowed. My Sims dog died. I can do what I want. <laughs> Megan and Jasmine, thanks for the subs. You're so valid. Thank you. You love vegan chili? I will say, uh, me and Dan make chili a fair bit, but we usually put it over rice, so it doesn't feel as soupy as, like, and it's, it's like chunky, you know? It's not like a liquid, liquid. So maybe that's why, but we make chili a fair amount because we, we like to like make a bunch and then freeze portions so that we have a lot of food always, you know? Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel as soupy that way, you know? Um, genuinely hate chili, really? I used to not like chili that much, but, um, I've started to like it more as an adult. I don't know. I guess partially because I'm making it myself, right? <laughs> when you make it yourself, you can tend- I tend to like things better when I know exactly what's in it and stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, it's easy- it's easy to make big batches of, which I like about it. Because I can, you know, shove a bunch of beans and like whatever vegetables I've got in the house and then cook it all up and then freeze portions. So it's easy to make a lot of, to have a bunch of around. Which I enjoy. So, got with leftovers. Oh, see, I really like having um, some like portions frozen in, in the freezer because then it's really good for like easy meals. You know, it's like, I don't feel like cooking right now. Oh, well I can just like put some rice in the rice cooker and then like heat up the chili on the stove. I don't have to actually cook. There's already like a meal that's easy, <laughs> you know? Oh, you can't sleep because I'm singing so much. Oh yeah, that makes sense. 
My nightmarish voice is keeping you awake. I understand. Um, I'm not in South Florida. I'm in Central Florida, friend. I live in Orlando. Um, but, uh, been here for a while. Came here when I was five. Been here ever since. <laughs> that voice would haunt me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone, sleep. We're awake. 6 a.m. is not so bad. Yeah, Sasha was just here in Disney. I actually, I streamed in the morning yesterday because I was going to go um, and see her when she was at Disney yesterday. Originally, that was the plan. And then I felt too anxious to drive <laughs> and I had a lot of work to do, so I didn't go. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to see her. She was only here for like two days. Um, it didn't work out, but I was a little bit too anxious to go over there, so I didn't. Uh, the anxiety got the best of me yesterday, <laughs> so... It's okay. It's okay. Sasha loves Disney. She will be back. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. That's why I was gonna stream in the morning yesterday originally. Um, because I was gonna go see her afterward, but... <sighs> I'm a flop. <laughs> in my flop era. It's maybe okay, because I got a lot of work done. It does kind of suck I didn't get to see her, but... I got a lot done, so that helps, you know? I did my best. All right. Um, is the Disney, no, there's a Disney in California too, Alex. Um, there's a Disneyland in California and there's a Disney World here. I'm a little bit biased. I think Disney World is better. Um, but that's because I grew up in Orlando. I think a lot of people actually think Disneyland in California is better, but. <laughs> I like it one year, so. You know, Panthers, it's not so much the driving at Disney. I just was, uh, it's it's more like the driving. <laughs> Yesterday was a bad day. It's been a rough week. Um, I didn't want to have to to deal with driving on I-4 out there yesterday. So. Yeah, Disneyland is a bit smaller. They have two parks. Disney World has more, and they're a little bit more spread out, so. Um, there's just so much. It's quite fun. Uh, Val, Disneyland was the first one, and it's, it's in California. They have, um, the two parks. They have a lot of, they have a few of the same rides, but a lot of them have, like, different stuff at them. Um, there's some things there that they don't have here, and vice versa. Um, I don't know. That one's older. This one's bigger. Um... But <laughs> Disneyland is smaller, but not humid. And Disney World is massive and very <laughs> humid. Okay, yeah, also uh, one of them has Florida weather, which, you know, it's kind of a unfortunate <laughs> feature. <laughs> so, <laughs> There's one in Paris too. Yeah, there's a few around. I've I've not been to those, so I can't really speak on them. But, um, but anyway, the time you went to Disneyland, it was 105 degrees Fahrenheit and very humid. Oh my god! When I went to Disneyland, the weather was great. It was like 70 degrees. It was sunny but not hot. It was when I went, I had a lovely time. <laughs> the weather was amazing. <laughs> so. I have that in my head as what it's, of what it's like there. Obviously, I know it's not always like that all year, but... Um, okay. We need to work on parenting skill and... Oh, we have so much to do. And singing skill. We don't have work today. Maybe I'll just sing all day until the... Um, until the kids get home from school, and then I'll try and help them. No, and no, I've not been to Disneyland many times. Disneyland's in California, um, but Disney World I've been to, because I live here, so. Um, all right. I've not, like, been to Disneyland a whole bunch of times or anything. <laughs> Disneyland is different. That one's across the country. That's, like, a five and a half hour flight away, like. Um, that's not something that I frequent. <laughs> It's confusing, land and world. If you're not familiar with them, it's confusing. Um, okay. 
Thoughts on Wednesday? I haven't seen the show, Cherry Devil. Uh, I haven't watched it. I probably should, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, we're gonna play Among Us tomorrow, Julia, actually. <laughs> Funny that you ask. We're playing Among Us tomorrow with some friends, so. Same group as usual, but we'll, we'll be here tomorrow playing some Among Us. All right, kind of gory at times, but it's good. It's gory. I hadn't heard that. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't have a lot of time to uh <laughs> to watch it right now. Maybe, maybe in the new year. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're almost level nine. I think. This is good. Keep it up. It's scary for Simsy. I feel like you guys have to understand that when it comes to watching things, I am... How do I say this? I'm odd. Like, I... I can't watch a lot of things because I find them too scary or I get too much, like, secondhand anxiety from them. Um, for example, the most recent uh, example everybody laughs at me for, um, is, is that I cried and had to turn off Pirates of the Caribbean in the first five minutes, like, six months ago, because I, as a child, was very terrified of it, and I still think it's scary. So, you gotta keep in mind who you're talking to. Um, I am silly. <laughs> I am very silly, <laughs> so... <laughs> Didn't you also find the incredible scary? Stop! You guys can't laugh at me! Yes, the part with the plane in The Incredibles is actually scary. The like, mayday, mayday, there's children on board. That part is scary! She's like, come on! You can't say it's not! Hello? <laughs> the Incredibles is scary! And there's like an evil super villain? Come on! But that part, the plain part, is like actually scary. Like, not like joking, that part's actually kind of scary. So. <laughs> it's not, I love you, but it's not. How is it not scary? This mother is flying a plane with all of her children on board, trying to save her husband, and she's on a plane with all of her young children, and they're being shot at. And she's like screaming, like, stop, there's children, stop, there's children. That is scary. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's like an emotional scary too. Um, what are you? How can you guys say no? I absolutely reject any of you trying to say it's not scary. Maybe you think of scary as just being stuff that's like gory. I don't know, but <laughs> stuff like that freaks me out. Okay, we've got some school projects, that's good. Is it a good one? Yes, it's the same one that I've been doing over and over again. Perfect. Let's come get to work. All right. Uh, maybe I could like, oh, we can encourage their recent behavior too. That's good. Don't mind Gore, but you can't deal with jump scares. Oh, I can't deal with anything. <laughs> I am useless. I, I can't deal with any stuff like that. Um, it's not scary because it's a kid's movie and you'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but like, sure, I've seen Incredibles many times. It's still scary. It can, it's anxiety inducing. Thank you. <gasps> I finished the aspiration. We build mental skills faster. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel really good about that now. So we can pick a new one if we want. Do you want to pick like the creativity one? So the show Wednesday is a no go then? I don't know. I might like it. It's hard to say. <laughs> Maroon, Hale, and Jennifer, and Lucy, thank you for the subs. Listen, you guys can't make fun of me. It's not fair. I don't make fun of you. But yeah, I am. Um, I have a lot of, I always, I have a lot of anxiety when I watch movies and TV. I like get too much. I take it in too much. Even when like, I know it's going to be fine because it's a Disney film. I like, I don't know. 
it causes me like too much stress. It's too, it's, I, I can't. <laughs> I care too much. I, it just, so I have to be careful what I watch because it can ruin my day. I don't know. I guess I just internalize it too much. So. You can't stay on The Office because of secondhand embarrassment? Oh, there's a lot of stuff on The Office that's... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I feel that way about Glee as well. I, um, I've been, like, watching an episode of Glee here and there recently, because we- I watched Glee when it was on, when I was, like, 10. Probably shouldn't have been, but I did. Um, <laughs> and I've been trying to watch an episode or, or two here and there, and there's so much of Glee that is so hard to watch. It is so hard to watch. <laughs> it's just- it's a lot. It's a lot. Um... I think it maybe helps that I've seen it before, but... Ugh. Dude, not in like an anxiety-inducing way, but in like a real secondhand embarrassment cringe kind of way. So... Ick. <laughs> Ick. Oh, the cat's name is Earl. Thank you for asking. Oh, we're all hanging out. That's kind of cute. Mm. Yeah, in like a why in the world did you just say that kind of way. Yeah, and a lot of the storylines are so hard to watch. Like, Glee is- it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> but, pizza sweater? Yeah, I put a pizza sweater on my little cat. I think they look really cute like that. Okay, uh, let's see if I can sell this. Skip through a lot of scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the kids are in school uniforms because when you're living in Mount Komorebi, they, they wear them. Uh, they do school uniforms in the, the snowy escape world. So. He's, he's not an occult sim, uh, Omo, but his mom was an alien. So he's like half alien, that's why he's gray. Also, it's funny because he's the gray gen of Not So Berry, so. All right, are we gaining a lot of parenting from this or no? A decent amount. She should be gaining. Oh, she's not gaining like any good skills. Okay, stop it then. Can you? Can you parenting? Encourage completing school projects. Encourage working on school projects. Encourage good grades. Thought he was a ghost at first? Yeah, a lot of people think he's a ghost when they see him. They're like, oh, who's that dead Sim? And then I'm like, oh, it's, he's not dead. He's, he's just gray. Did I just finish two at once? Oh, I finished that like immediately. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good. Uh, alright. How are we doing parenting skill-wise? Level 7? Oh, you're so close. Do you want to do some more? Encourage doing dishes. What? <laughs> she was asleep. I just followed her. She tried to go to bed and I followed her to say, Thank you for doing the dishes. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, how are you? How how well is this doing for our skill? Barely any. Boo! It's already 10 p.m. as well. Hmm. Uh, do you wanna? Clear the bulletin board. Maybe I can put some stuff on it. You used to be able to, uh... Oh, are you putting a sim to bed? Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, I just had them switch beds by accident. Sorry. Everyone else is sleeping. Or going to sleep. Go to bed. Uh, you can get some food. I was gonna see... Anyway, I used to, um... I used to be able to, like, you could do this, like, make a bunch of drawings, 
and it would build your parenting skill kind of a decent amount. Uh, I don't really understand why, but it did. These are kind of nice. We could hang these up. Doesn't do it anymore, though. Write a note. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's going up a little bit. Not enough to justify how much time I'm spending on this. But it used to go up so much. Oh, he farted. That's gross. Yeah, it was not enough to justify doing a lot of it, but it did go up a little. So that's good. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Lola Mars, Avali, thank you for the subs. Echo and Digital too. thank you so much. Um, all right. Yeah, he keeps farting because he has the slob trait. <laughs> that's why. Um, he farts a lot. That's okay. Find a baby to interact with. Yeah, if we, um, once we have grandkids, we'll be able to max the skill pretty easily. Um, which will be pretty nice. I wonder if anybody we know has a kid. Does our sister have a kid? Mm, in grade school. Not helpful. Not helpful. <laughs> oh, Megan, is his relationship with the stepdaughter not good? I, that's not a, on purpose, not a storyline. It might be because of like back in the day, the like, Inter the relationship bugs. I will literally cheat it. I don't even care. It would be higher. I think you gain parenting skill if it's not your kid, Owl. If he, like, took care of a baby. If I, like, went and had his sister have a baby. So, his, like, his... It would be a family member. Yeah, I could teach the kids to say please and thank you, too. Yeah. What happens if they die before completing the tasks? Uh, and not so very. Muffin, it, like, here's the thing. Here's, here's my feelings on this. I don't really care. <laughs> if, I mean, I guess if you don't complete the tasks, you kind of lose. But, like, it's a Sims challenge. So, I don't know, go on to the next one, I guess. Like, just do the next generation or whatever. It's fine. Like, it's, it's more like how you want to play, but I don't really care that much if my sim didn't finish all the tasks or whatever before they died. Like, I'd, I'd just do it again. Oh. What is that? Oh, it's bus! Ah, uh, fire! I just got here! Why is- what is wrong with me? Should I let him die? Should I let him die? Fine. Extinguish yourself. For the record, I didn't do that. It wasn't me. Okay, can we try for a baby? <laughs> Strain title, I will try not to kill a sim. No, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to try for a baby. Oh, maybe he's... Um... You know, I think he's had a bit of a rough night. But I would like another baby. So, try for baby. Come on. Come on. And then, and then we'll be able to wait a little bit. And we'll hopefully have a baby soon. Kendall has learned Storm's woohoo interests. What, do you not want to woohoo? I don't remember if I set any. No, okay, you should be able to try for a baby. Come on, there we go. Where are the triplets? Well, they're not triplets for one. <laughs> one of them's a bit older, but they're all kids right now. We're in, um, we're in like the cousin's household basically really fast because I wanted them to have another cousin. So I'm just having their aunt try for a baby right now. That's what's happening. Take pregnancy test? Yay! What do we got? We're gonna have a baby! Okay, so we can just come back to that once it grows up. 
That was the fire toilet bathroom. That's why there's no toilet in there. We used to play in this house. Um, this was my like Gen 3 house. And then we moved into our Gen 4 house where we are now. And that toilet had the fire toilet in it, uh, which I brought with me to the new house. Uh, so that's why I don't have it uh, in there because I brought it with me <laughs> to where I live now. So. I didn't really intend to be back in that house much. Uh, because, well, I don't live there, <laughs> so. Uh, your Sims were getting ne negative reactions to being flirty today. Do you think that there was, um, do you think that this bug is still there? The, like, mean Sim bug? I haven't had much issue today. Or recently in general, so I don't know. Um. Okay, I'm cheating everybody's needs because it's not my fault they didn't sleep through the night. I wasn't here. If I was here, I would have ensured they slept, but they didn't, and that's not my fault. Uh, you don't need to work out, buddy. You need to sing. You need to use the bathroom. Okay, we need to also have three sims age up with good character values. Um, so maybe we could work on manners. We have responsibility. We could probably work on manners. Maybe after school I'll teach the kids to say please and thank you or something. <laughs> oh, grilled chicken, okay. Sure. Why not? All right, well, we'll just keep singing. We can also like wash the dishes and brush our teeth and stuff, but We'll work on that after school. I want them all to go to school before we- <laughs> before we worry about that too much. So. Alright, send alone. Yeah, the teaching to say please and thank you will build the parenting skill which I need, which is kind of why I wanted to work on that. It's almost Raisin's birthday, two days. That's pretty good. Oh, are you gonna go to school? Go to school! Oh, the thermostat is too hot inside. Where is the thermostat? Can you switch it? It's summertime, I forgot. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? Should we try and work on charisma skill, see if we can get promoted? Because if we get promoted, we'll have that whole thing finished. We've got a plenty, plenty of time, but yeah, and setting the table also builds manners. So um, we, got, we got plenty of options. Level four mixology skill, okay. Do you wanna come? Do you wanna clean that and then practice making some drinks? Sure. Do I use any CC? Yeah, I've got a few custom content hairs um, that we've made specifically for these Sims. Um, and then um, we also have a couple mods like UI cheats and MC Command Center and stuff. So, okay, anyway, keep building some skills. We can just wait all day. <laughs> I've got all day. I'm not worried about it. I don't wanna go to GeekCon, I'm busy. I've got all day. Are we ready? Hello. Oh my God, it takes so long. And my spotlight is fading? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Every kid's uncomfortable. Oh, are they? Maybe they're not anymore. Maybe they were hungry or something. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. <laughs> Probably should have been. Okay, I don't think he'll be able to get the skill all the way up before school, but or before school, before he has to go to work. But we can try and get it higher, because then maybe tomorrow he'll get promoted. They might have been too hot, I guess. I'm not really sure. Uh, but either way, they're fine. Their needs are fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> We've been doing a little bit better today. We, we've sort of uh, saved everybody. Work for Grave starts in an hour. Why aren't you going? Oh, I have, speaking of saving. Oh my God. Save the game just in case. Oh. Oh dear. 
Yeah, you can use the bathroom and then go to sleep. I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Alright, and then Grave can go to work. He works until 9, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well. Alright, let's do some things like... Do you want to brush your teeth a bunch of times? See if we can get manners up. Maybe we could set the table. Keep an eye on this stuff. Does brushing your teeth actually build manners? Cleaning up dishes, giving compliments. We also need to work on emotional control and empathy. There, we set the table. That's some good manners. Uh, do you want to try and- you can't set that table. Maybe if I... Hmm... Empathy. We can play with the doctor playset. It builds responsibility. Oh, we don't need that. Someone in chat told me to do that, but we don't need responsibility. We have that full. Let's get the doctor playset and see if we can build one of these. We'll be able to work on it more once we're older too, as teens, but... Nice introductions raises manners. Yeah, that's true. And we can obviously we'll teach, uh, teach them, but we can't do that until the dad is home. The, the journal would help with emotional control as well. Um, but this one will build empathy. Do we gain a skill from this at all or just the empathy? Should I make her just play a lot of doctor? Then we can volunteer as well. It's kind of cute because she will be a doctor when she's older. It's mental skill. Yeah, but I already maxed mental. I was hoping it would give me logic or something. Um, cause I, I like, max the mental skill already, but it's not, so. Oh well. That's fine. I feel like we should be able to get this up pretty high. Emotional control is easy by doing yoga. Oh gosh, yeah, we can do that when they're older. Um, or can we do, we can do yoga as kids now, can't we? Oh. I forgot about the update. I'm cheating my, my needs so I don't need to pee anymore. And then I'm gonna practice yoga. What is it, hot outside? Calm down. You're home. It's very late. Come take a shower. And then, no, actually. Will you shower and then practice speech? Who's calling? Can't see. Oh god. We're unchallenged. We need mental stimulation. Calm down. Yeah, we're building this pretty fast. Obviously, it's a bit low right now. But we can build it back up. Hopefully. Especially, um... Especially once we've, uh... Done it a bunch as a teen as well. Maybe taking up yoga would be good for us. We can have like, that can be one of our hobbies. We have to like get level eight in so many skills. So taking up yoga might be good. Doing yoga next to a fireplace in the summer sounds awful. You know, I hadn't really considered that. But you're right. That does sound unpleasant. <laughs> that does sound like it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> It's like hot yoga. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Carla, Aaron, Kay, thank you for the subs. All right, go to sleep. Everyone back to sleep. All right, as soon as you finish- well, you should be done showering. I think it like glitched me and it won't get out of the shower. Let me out of the shower! Let me go load and come back. Ah, uh, the empathy things? It's not a mod, Danny. That's from the parenthood pack. If you're familiar with Parenthood at all. One of my favorite packs for The Sims. Um, okay. Hurry up. Reload. Fabling Serial, thanks for the subs too. Okay. In we go. Parenthood's a must-have game pack. Yeah, Parenthood's one of my favorite game packs. 
uh, out of all of them. I really like Parenthood a lot. I just made a video where I ranked all of the game packs, by the way, if you want to watch it. Oh my god, I think I mentioned this, but I made a video ranking the stuff packs. I haven't posted it yet. Uh, I'm gonna post it like next week. I'm saving it. I'm trying to pre-record like I mentioned. Um, it's 40 minutes long. I usually try to have my videos, like I, I generally aim for like 20 to 25 minutes. That's like my usual um, goal length. It's 40 minutes long. <laughs> Um, Dan already edited it, luckily, but poor Hope is gonna have to do the captions on that one, and it's gonna take a long time. I'm so sorry. I pay Hope per the minute, though. Um, that's generally how you pay people who do closed captions. So, like, the longer it is, the, the more they get paid, but... Still a nightmare. <laughs> it takes forever. <laughs> so, oops. Yeah, I love long-form content, too, Kenny. It's just, it's hard for me to, um, pull off, like, that long of content every day. You know? I love to watch long videos, though. It's just hard to, like, upload seven long videos a week. <laughs> you know? Um, but anyway, this one's long, so. I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was very fun to record. I love talking about The Sims, so. <laughs> Not quite the same as, like, you know, general long-form YouTube content that we might be thinking of, but... <laughs> Um, it's longer, at least. Yeah, I, I prefer, I love to watch on YouTube, like, a 35, 40 minute vlog. Just like, of a person hanging out. I, I love that. Sit down, eat my dinner with a long vlog. <laughs> that is what I want to see. I guess, obviously, a lot of us all watch a lot of Twitch, too, so we obviously love long-form sort of content, but I love a good long YouTube video. My favorite kind of thing. So. <laughs> you know the attention span? Really? I mean, it's definitely, I feel like, not for everybody, but I love a long video. I think because it's, it's good for my attention span, it's nice to just have things on, and it lasts a long time, and it's just good. Same as like a podcast, you know, like a long podcast. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, will you take a bath? Good. Use the bathroom. Long video, time to relax. Yeah, exactly. Like the Try Guys Without a Recipe videos, long. And they're fun. The tub is filthy? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to clean it today. We have a maid that comes as well, so we have help at least, but... um. There's a lot of sims in this household, so there's a lot of mess very often. All right, would you like to get some leftovers? Yes? Maybe, maybe you need like the video aspect of it, Flamingo. Do you think that you would enjoy a podcast in video form? Like maybe the reason that you don't like podcasts is because you don't like it just being audio. I feel like that makes sense. Um, there's a lot of podcasts that are in video form, but I understand that, like, it's not quite the same. People are just, like, hanging out talking. Um, I like to have podcasts in video form because it's kind of fun to see people, you know? Um, but, I don't know. I listen to podcasts, like, usually when I'm doing stuff, so I can't really watch the video much anyway, so I don't really care. I'll, like, it's usually like a, oh, I'm folding my laundry and, like, cleaning the kitchen, so I'll put a podcast on while I'm, like, you know, doing something, just to have, like, sound. Um, and then I have it, like, on my phone so I can bring it around with me. Um, oops, forgot to have the kids shower before school. <laughs> oh, no, 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 hang on. I need to make sure I feed the sharks. Gotta be careful. All right, sharks fed, use bathroom, clean up plate, and then honestly, can you clean out the spoiled food and then serve some breakfast? We need to make a little bit of extra food so we can have some more. Um, come on. Oh yeah, like podcast on a walk, that's kind of nice too. Um, I want to go on a walk tonight and look at Christmas lights. That's my plan. See what the neighbors have going on. A couple of my neighbors have some decent Christmas lights. It's kind of exciting. 
I've been uh, trying to go around and see recently, the past couple weeks. But I might do that tonight. Listen to podcasts at work. Yeah, because you're like busy working on something, but it's nice to have like the sound in the background. Yeah. I like to use Twitch streams for that kind of thing too, because you, like, I guess obviously, you know, with a Sims gameplay Twitch stream, it helps to see it, but um, it's, it's also kind of nice just to have like someone talking. So it's, it's good for noise, you know? Makes you feel like you're hanging out with somebody a little bit, <laughs> especially with Twitch because it's live and like there's kind of a conversation going on. It feels a little bit more, I don't know, it's just different. The vibes are kind of cool. Doing that now while at work? Yeah, like, currently listening at work while watching the stream? Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Everyone, yeah, literally working right now. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you. That's how I mostly watch Twitch streams, too. So. Okay. I'm gonna have you... Oh, don't do that. Do you want to serve, like, another thing? Serve up some pancakes. We don't- oh, we do have work today. Oh god. Maybe don't serve pancakes. Honestly, don't serve pancakes. See if you can get the skill maxed. Practice speech. Yeah, they wanted a lot of tea. Did you see how much tea he was gonna make? <laughs> Fall asleep to Gluon's videos all the time. Yeah, because Gluon's stream is late, too. Yeah, I used to watch Dr. Gluon a lot at night uh, when I was in college. I have memory- I used to a lot more when I was in my dorm. I used to have streams on all the time. I still watch a fair amount of streams and I lurk in a fair amount of my friends' streams and stuff, but especially in my dorm, I was really lonely. Let's just be honest. <laughs> so I used to always have a stream on. Like, always. Um, so I, I uh, relate to that one. <laughs> I don't do it as much anymore, but um, definitely then. Definitely in college, so. That's you right now? Yeah. <laughs> Literally me in my dorm alone right now watching? Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice to have uh, the sound and stuff, so. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this cat a couple times so I don't get left again. And then we've got work at three. Go talk to the cat! What are you doing? They keep like freezing and not doing anything. Do you see this? Where is the cat? Praise. Offer friendship. Now I've got work in an hour. This is not helping. Do you want to play with, too? That should fix the fun and the social. There we go. Better. What's the mood lit? Oh, awesome light show. Oh, from the laser light show. Uh, and also the cozy fire we have. That's pretty good. All right, how are you doing? You need to take a bath. And then I might make you do some yoga again. Because I want to see about trying to get our emotional control back together. Raisin's going to age up into a teen tomorrow. So that's kind of exciting. So, yeah, I think Sims are taking a really long time to finish actions recently. I have also noticed that. I wonder what the deal with that is. Are you gonna come do it? Yoga. Right in front of the fireplace. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's gonna need to work on this a lot too. Cause we still are like in the red. If we can get it back into the green today, I'd be happy. Performance gain medium. Oh, that's really good. We might be able to get promoted today. And then he'll have maxed the fitness skill. Fitness skill? Athlete career. He's level 9. So he's almost there. <laughs> um, no, French, I didn't get striked. When, uh, when VODs get muted, Twitch is doing that on purpose so that you don't get striked. Because there was like some copyrighted music in it, obviously. I was reassured that we wouldn't get a strike for the Sky audio um, in the Aurora concert. Um, but Twitch muted the VOD in some parts because it's worried about me getting a strike, so it mutes it, so it like hides the audio into text, basically. Um, does that make sense? That's like the whole point of the muting, though, is to avoid a strike. Um, yeah, the VOD will be muted on YouTube as well. The VOD on YouTube, uh, is also blocked in a couple countries because of the audio. Not everywhere, I forget what the countries were. It wasn't like countries where my majority audience was. So I don't think it should affect most of you. Um, 
but it got blocked in a couple countries as well. When things get uh, copyright claimed on YouTube, um, basically the copyright owner can choose to block it or to monetize it. Usually the copyright owner just monetizes it and like takes the ad revenue basically. Um, sometimes like Taylor Swift, for example, usually blocks the audio so that you can't see the video at all. Um, and generally globally. It's her music, so, you know, do whatever you want, but a lot of, um, depends on the artist and, like, the, the, um, I guess, like, the network agency or whatever, um, whatever it's called in music. Label. The label. <laughs> whatever the label wants to, but, uh, it depends, so sometimes it gets blocked. But that's not, like, the choice of the individual, that's the choice of the, the copyright owner, so, um, <laughs> Okay, how are we doing now? We're in the green! <laughs> yes! Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do today, uh, I'm gonna set the table, and then I'll get some food, oh, I suppose. Yeah, French, a lot of it is still there, but some of it is, is muted, unfortunately. I can't do anything about that, though. Um, against my, uh, my will, I guess. Uh, Bonnie doesn't age up for four days, and Raisin ages up in one day. So Raisin's almost there. Um, yeah, and the whole album, like Aurora, the concert album that was in the Sky thing is on Spotify too, so. Anyway. Uh, Far, thank you for the rain. Hello, hello, hello. Um, okay. One of those trees where you had to be there. Yeah, not by choice. That's not my fault, but yeah, kind of. Because uh, it got muted. I figured it would get muted, unfortunately, but... It's okay. Worst things have happened. All right, do you want to do some more singing practice? You can go to sleep. Another day done. We're saved. What's the the next gen? I think Raisin, uh, the girl with the purple hair, the child with the purple hair, is gonna be the, the next gen, we think. Um, that was kind of what chat voted on. We liked the name Raisin a lot, so... <laughs> uh, that's, that's the plan so far, we think. Uh-oh, gonna pee your pants. Use the bathroom. All right. Well, Charlotte, the thing is, uh, when these uh, when artists are, like, enforcing their copyright like that, a lot of times they'll have, like, it's, it's just getting auto-detected. So, like, on YouTube, um, it, it gets auto-detected when it, like, thinks it's stealing something that you own. Even, like, my videos, if someone re-uploaded my videos, I can look and it, like, auto-detects, um, what has been re-uploaded. And then you can choose, do you want to take it down? Do you want to, like, share the revenue? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think a lot of times with artists, when things are getting picked up, they just blanket, like, claim everything because it must happen so often. Um, and they don't, like, pick and choose, like, oh, this person had good intentions, this one had bad intentions. They just do everything, you know? Um, anyway. And it's, it's fair of them to enforce their, like, their music ownership, you know? Especially because a lot of times with artists, people, like, upload the full song to YouTube and it's just the song and stuff, um, which kind of sucks. It's, like, definitely not fair use, but it also sucks when things get, you know, blocked and stuff. I don't really care if they share the revenue, but it, it sucks when things get blocked. Um. Okay. Okay. We're almost there with the skill. Is this level 10 or level 9? Oh, we're about to max it. He's almost done. Look. He didn't get promoted, though. But he's gonna finish the singing skill. Come on. Please, please. Please, I want to be done. And then it's just parenting. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Singing skill maxed. So it's just the parenting skill and the career now. And then he's done. Whew. All right, save game. Oh, what's that? Baby got adopted. Um. <laughs> and Rose expired and Jackson, thank you for the subs. Hufflepuff, two, Ceramic, Annika, Alyssa, Hunky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. 
Everyone is asleep. You are a grade school A student, but it's almost your birthday. What if we had her take the day off school so that we could try and like work on some, some skill building? What do you think? Not that we need to, but we could. We don't need to go to school either. So maybe I will do that. Do you want to come use the bathroom? It's 4.30 in the morning and I don't want you to pee your pants because that would really ruin the vibes of the day. <laughs> Funky Emma, expired coupon, thanks for the subs. Okay, come along, use bathroom. She did finish her aspiration. We, I got a second one, but we finished the mental aspiration. So we got the whiz kid trait. Mentally gifted trait, I should say. All right, go to sleep. Come on, go to sleep. Five vacation days, not bad. I never have my Sims kids take vacation days. <laughs> like ever. I probably should think about that more often, huh? Yeah, I always forget about the school vacation days. Unless I've got like a big plan, like if like their parents are getting married or something, you know? Uh, Rude with the, with the 10 months too, thank you so much. And say hi to your puppy, that's so cute. Oh, uh, Loni, all of the water around the floor, everywhere, um, that's because I have a bunch of ghosts that drowned in this shark pond. And ghosts usually have like a little feature that shows off like how they died. So if you died from like eating the poisonous pufferfish, for example, you have like a floating pufferfish in your chest. Um, if you died in a fire, your sims are like steamy. If you died because you drowned, they drip. So when all of the ghosts, and obviously I have a lot of them, when all of the ghosts are at the house, all of the ones that drowned in the pond, they drip water everywhere. So, that's why. <laughs> cause, cause I'm haunted by a bunch of uh, angry water ghosts, basically. <laughs> all right, you take care of yourself there. I'm gonna have you come take a bath next before we go to school. Oh look, my, I'm fully rested. Uh, business, take a vacation day. There you go. Raisin has taken the day off. Don't order delivery, I wanted to come eat some food. And it is Raisin's birthday. So honestly, Raisin deserves a day off. Would you like to have a quick meal of some cheese crackers, maybe? Yes. Incredible, perfect, excellent, very exciting. Send Bonnie to school on her own. This is kind of ruined because of how I've placed it. Maybe I'll put that over there. Oh. A couple of these are still ready. Okay, I think now would be a good time for you to, well, is, oh, your dad's awake, but he's not ready to help you yet. He's gonna come sing in the shower, and then I think I'm gonna make him serve some food. Like, do you wanna come serve an omelet or something? And maybe you, in the meantime, do you wanna practice yoga? I'm trying to get some more of our emotional control, and then we'll do a little bit of manner stuff as well. We're gaining the motor skill. That's nice. Very nice. All she says and basic. Thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay. All right. How are you doing? Not that well. Oh, go to school. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Bonnie? What the heck? <sighs> no, the parenthood values aren't part of the not so very challenge, not in this generation. Um, oh, we maxed the cooking skill. Uh, I just really wanted to work on it because I thought it was fun. So I am working on it, but you don't have to. All right, eat omelet. Use the bathroom. We've not had any fires in our house today. We've only had fires in our siblings' house today. 
Uh, do you want to encourage practicing yoga? Why is Marissa at school? I had her skip school, bittersweet, on purpose. We uh, took the day off school. I like called in. Basically. Uh, parenting. Will you encourage the yoga like I asked you to? Hello, parenting. Encourage practicing yoga. Yay! Okay. Parenting. Teach to say please and thank you. Try and build some manners this way. <laughs> it's gonna take us ages. <laughs> it's gonna take us so long. This child is too bored right now? No! I actually reject that. You have to listen to me. Tisha, say please and thank you. I refuse to allow you to feel bored. You have to like it. Don't be rude. Is she overheating? Yeah, I think a little bit. That's her problem, not mine. <laughs> Leanna, Gloria, Azoria, thank you for the subs. Okay. We can build it a fair amount this way. Responsibility is so much easier to build. Alright, do you want to set the table? Set the table. Do it again. How fast does that go up? Oh, that's all right. It goes up a fair amount. You said that if I do friendly introductions, right? Or is that emotional control? Should I go introduce myself to people? Should we just go somewhere and say hello? We're skipping school to, to get to know people. Yeah, journaling helps with emotional, con emotional control, too. Um, but we've been doing a bunch of yoga for the emotional control, but we've got time. Obviously, she's only a child, but... Friendly introduction, respectful introduction. Okay, we'll try some respectful introductions. How about that? Come on. And complimenting people, also. Uh, setting the table came with parenthood, Jay. If you have that pack. It came with parenthood. All right, let's come say hello. Hello, random sim. I would like to introduce myself respectfully. Yes, very good. Hello, sim. I would like to introduce myself respectfully. Yes. What did you get this for? Aggravating conversation. <laughs> oh. It can come respectfully say hello to these other kids, too. That's pretty good. Lisa, Dorio, Emma, thank you for the subs! Um, okay. Okay. Respectful. Respectful. Oh, the respectful introductions go up really, really fast. Do you see how fast it's, like, getting my manners up? We should have done that sooner! I don't know why I didn't. This is my aunt. Come on, keep it up. Did you say hi to everybody already? How about this sim? I mean, being respectful is a good thing. Here, respectfully introduce yourself to Agnes! You better be respectful talking to Agnes. Oh, I also find talking to Agnes to be aggravating. Don't worry, little one. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Lifestyle gained. Oh, Bonnie's got the single and loving it lifestyle. See, I don't really like that. I feel like it's kind of weird for a sim who is a teen to earn the single and loving it lifestyle just because they didn't date anyone in high school. Because, like... They're so young! <laughs> I didn't date anybody in high school. That doesn't mean I need the single and loving it trait, you know? That seems a bit odd to me. Okay, well, we've got it all the way up. So we'll have to just keep a hold of that while we're a teen. And we can go back home. Um, 
I think I will probably just bake a cake then. Hey, Jess up. Uh, in here? In high school, I was single and not loving it. That is a sentiment shared by many. I felt really embarrassed about it when I was in high school, but looking back on that, I think it's a good thing I didn't date anyone in high school. I feel like it would've just hurt me, <laughs> so. It's probably for the best. I was really like ashamed of it when I was younger though, which is silly because you're so young. You're so young, but it's definitely for the best. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bathroom and then we can make a cake. Might have Eric do it because he's a bit of a chef. Uh, let's cook. <laughs> Met your wife when you were 14. That's awesome, Liana. I'm so glad. Um, that's really beautiful. It's definitely possible for high school relationships to go well, but Depends on the people, right? <laughs> a lot of people have bad experiences in high school and I, um, I don't know. I don't think that I would have dated anyone good in high school considering the kind of people I knew. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't date anyone until college then I married him too, Ari. So <laughs> I'm with you on that. I didn't date anyone and then I dated one person, so. <laughs> It seemed to have worked out for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, would you like to add some birthday candles? Thank you. All right. Raisin, it is your time to shine. We are blowing out the candles and aging up. Yeah, we think Raisin's gonna be the heir naive. Um, we think that Raisin's gonna be the heir. All right, happy birthday. Okay, so the Nasso Berry Challenge, the Plum Gen has to have the genius, non-committal, and dance machine traits. I think, God, what terrible traits. Should we do non-committal or dance machine first? Um, that's squeamish. What do you guys think? Can I even pick non-committal as a teen? Let's be a dance machine. Dance machine. Um, that'll be easier. And then we have to have the Renaissance Sim aspiration. So I shall pick that as well. And it's time we get to work. <laughs> All right. I am gonna go uh, fix all of her outfits in casts. Dance machine is really annoying. They get bored of like not being able to dance. I guess, so she'll have yoga as a hobby. She'll have dance as a hobby. The logic skill. <laughs> we have to uh, get a lot of skills. So, oh, she's pretty. Okay. I feel good about this. I don't love her hairstyle. <laughs> This is one of those old EA hairs that has terrible texture. Um, Beck, I didn't make the custom content hair. Don't be rude to our friend who made us free custom content at our request. I will take whatever hair color I can get. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll use... Um, I'm trying to decide... What... Ew, that's not purple. Uh, that's not really... I know you didn't mean anything, any harm, but... <laughs> no, they weren't, they wasn't even a mean message. They were just like, can the hair be actually plum this time? <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna probably use the default purple swatch, to be honest. Uh, oh, this one's kind of... I don't like it. I like the bottom color, but I don't really like the shape of the hair. The brown swatch has purple highlights of this one. Oh, kind of violet-y. This one is, um, I think I used this one the last time that I played. Mm. 
That one's kind of fun. I can't tell. Should we pick like some eyeliner? Maybe we could do some fun purple eyeshadow. Too blocky. Maybe. Oh, well, that doesn't look very plum, does it? Can I make this like less opaque? Oh, that's actually kind of cute. You gave your plum sim black hair, did you? <laughs> That's fun. Um, yeah, I, w I think I wanted to use the default um, purple swatch, but... Uh, maybe we could try and do like a purple lipstick. There's something kind of fun about using the purple lipstick. No, I don't think I want freckles. Maybe we could do glasses though. We got options. <sighs> mm. The freckles are cute though. We could do the freckles. I'm I'm personally team freckles. I might be a little biased. <laughs> Maybe she could have braces too. Not digging the glasses. Loving the glasses. I'm seeing a lot of uh, different things. We could really embrace the glasses if we wanted to and like really go all out. Or we could not. Both options. Um, yeah, her, her sister Bonnie has the snowy escape braids already, so I don't want to use those again. Because um, we already did those <laughs> for one soup. Um, glasses, yes, but different hair. Oh, I, different glasses, no glasses, love the glasses. See, I'm being thrown in a lot of different directions here. Let's, uh, figure out the outfits and then we can come back. Maybe once we pick the outfits, we can decide. Is there any cool purple jeans? I don't usually wear, like, colorful pants. Mm. So maybe if we tried to find, I don't really want to wear ripped jeans. And that's not really the kind of purple that I'm looking for. That's too light. That's full of sequins. More than that a bunch of times. These are cute. These are kind of cute too. Hmm. There's a bunch of swatches of purple on these sort of pants. Uh, That's not really as purple as I wanted it to be. Oh my god, there's so many options. Oh, see, these ones are like purple jeans, you know? What are we doing? Well, we're dressing our uh, purple not so berry sim. Technically, the plum gen. Oh, these are kind of, oh, I didn't even see these. These are kind of plum. Do you want to try those? Uh, colors, purple. No, it's not a no CC challenge. You can use whatever kind of CC you want. I just don't really use much CC in general, so. Uh, I, I personally am not really big into custom content, so I don't really use a lot of CC. But I have, like, the kids have custom content hairs and stuff, so. Uh, I'm just not, like, a huge CC kind of player. Uh, that does not match literally at all. <laughs> you know what? This one's kind of cute. Do you think that it's okay with the, uh, the color of the pants? Because that's got a little bit of purple, but it's not, like, extremely purple. I kind of like it. Is there anything sort of plum for the nails? Hmm, I'll do these ones from Spa Day. Hmm. Colors, purple. I don't even know if I want to wear a bracelet or not. I'm just kind of looking. We could always just do something plain. I love to give my Sims watches. 
I always really like how they look when they have a watch on. That might be kind of a fun touch. Lean into the dancer aesthetic. I was gonna lean into like, um, the, the Renaissance sim thing. Not that like she's dressing like a nerd, but like that's kind of what I was gonna lean into a little bit. The fact that she wants to be good at everything. Like she, and she is good at everything. You liked the green swatch? Oh, Mary, I was, I immediately regretted clicking on it because I was like, oh, this color matches the pants better, but I don't want to wear green. <laughs> I can't, I can't bring myself to have that much green. Um, so I, I regretted clicking on it because I was like, people are going to like how that looks, but I don't want to wear green. <laughs> so don't worry. I know the color looks good, but I don't think I want to wear green for, um, for this sim. Okay, colors. Let's do some white shoes, maybe. Match the white. <sighs> I'm gonna look through every single white shoe. Not those. Um, I think I want her to wear, like, closed toe shoes. I think I want to just wear sneakers. I know I always give my sim sneakers, but... That's kind of what I want. Um, I don't know if I want the converse or not. Maybe we could. We can wear socks. I feel like this bracelet is too stark. It needs to be, <laughs> mm, don't like. What other watches do we have? Or what other bracelets in general? Those could be okay. Um, I wonder if I could change the shade of this lip color to be like slightly more reddish, just ever so slightly. Oh, I need to delete some of these. I have the same swatch like three times. Make slightly redder, a little bit less opaque. I've reached the maximum, but I deleted some. You're lying. Why are you lying? What the heck? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna leave lipstick. The shade does not matter. Specifics? Does not matter. I don't really care. I think she looks cute. I'm gonna try the glasses again. We don't have to wear the purple glasses. Mm. We could always just do like white glasses. <laughs> uh, because she, I always wear the same glasses though. I don't know. Should we? What do you think? I don't- it's bothering me a lot how it's clipping with her hair. Like, bothering me a lot. And I always wear these, so I don't want to use those. But a lot of the other ones clip. Let's do no glasses. Let's do no glasses because it's bugging me how it's clipping with her hair. And then we could always have her wear them later when she's older. You know? But I- I like the hairstyle more than I like the glasses, and I'm- bothered by the clipping. <laughs> um, okay, any sort of purple dress. It's okay if it's like, maybe not our personal style, because, oh, that's so cute, but not plum. Uh, because she's so young, and she's gonna go to prom in this outfit, you know, like, it's okay if it's, uh, if she makes some silly makeup choices and stuff. You know? Okay. This is a good prom dress, though. And maybe she can make some kind of... I don't know, unfortunate makeup choices? <laughs> it's not even unfortunate, it's actually kind of cute, but... I like the story of her making unfortunate, bold makeup choices when she's young. I feel like that's kind of realistic. Mm -hmm. It's not even unfortunate, but... I think that's kind of cute. I don't know how much... 
We probably shouldn't dress her properly for prom yet, and we can wait for when it's actually prom to do that. So I won't give her, like, too much jewelry or anything. Her athletic wear, she's actually gonna wear a lot, because she's gonna be really into yoga. So we need to keep that in mind as we are dressing her. This is gonna be a thing that we see frequently. We could even give her more than one. I think that might be kind of nice. Is there purple shoes? Purple? There's some purple shoes. Oh, these are cute. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Seems good to me. And then maybe she could have like an outfit with leggings as the other uh, outfit. Which one do you think is best? This is like a slightly darker shirt. I don't really like the cut of it that much. But maybe we could do this with like some black leggings because that's like a really normal workout kind of vibe, you know? I guess the off the shoulder one was kind of screaming dance, wasn't it? <laughs> maybe we could wear that with uh, the gray leggings. So we'll have three workout outfits because we're going to be maxing the dance skill and doing a lot of yoga. So it's good to have a few dance options or a few outfit options. <laughs> okay, purple, purple, purple. What else do we have? Oh, there's some purple pants. I like those. Maybe she could just wear like the purple pants with like a white sweater or something. Really casual. I want the bunny slippers. Really bad. Really, French? That's funny how we're picking a lot of the same options. I mean, there's a lot of really nice plum clothes, so it makes sense that we would go for a lot of similar things. Oh. That doesn't make sense that we would go for a lot of similar things, but there's a lot of- we're picking probably the same nice good stuff, because there's some good stuff that we all like. So... <laughs> what am I getting Dan for Christmas? Sam, I can't tell you that! He might be here! For all we know, he could be listening in! We simply can't say. Maybe after Christmas. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can't risk it. I don't trust these Twitch people to not go and tell him as well. They'd go like type it in his chat. He's not live right now, but they'd go type it in his chat tomorrow. You guys can't be trusted. <laughs> um, okay. I don't like... I don't like any of these. Oh, those are kind of fun leggings. I don't want to wear them for... Should we do these ripped jeans? I know we had talked about it. I don't really love how they're so... I don't like, like, the skinny jeans that much, but... I do like how they're purple, so... Full body outfit? And maybe we could try a full body outfit. Let me look first. Not a dress, but, like... Oh, this could be cute for hot weather. Oh my gosh, should we do that first? That's kind of fun. Right? I like that. Um, I don't know if I like that, though. <laughs> I can't tell. I like the idea of it, but I don't know what shoes to wear. How much longer am I streaming for? Ah, uh, Victoria, usually I'd be live for like 40 more minutes. I stream for about three hours every day, so. Uh, maybe if we did like a sandal? That might be nice. Uh, we have some gray swatches, which is kind of helpful. These don't really come in a swatch that I like. Maybe, you know what? Let's go for this. Concept of sun hat? We can wear a sun hat. I might paint her toes, too. We can go for, like, a brighter color with the toenail polish. And then we can do a little hat. I have the prom stuff, because we won prom queen before. <laughs> um, 
Does this one have nice swatches? I feel like it needs to be, I actually kind of like that. What do you guys think about that? I think this is quite cute. <laughs> the, the prom uh, crown is a family heirloom. Yeah, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> we, won, we won prom queen like years ago and now it's a family heirloom and we carry it around with us. <sighs> Just sent seven boxes of your life to Florida. Oh my gosh, Miv, it's happening. It's happening. Uh, okay, I like this outfit. I think that's so cute. Let's go back to party wear before I get too distracted. So is there any other full body outfits that we might like? I do like this dress. I always think it's cute, but I also use it a fair amount. So I don't know if I want to use it again. I also love this. I just love this. What if we wore it in this color scheme? I know it's adding a little bit more pink than we originally wanted, but this way it's all sort of plum. It's sort of plum and that's what matters. And if we get like the makeup to, to kind of tie it back to purple, I genuinely love that so much. That's so cute. Okay, so there's her party wear. We won't wear anything else. Everyday, formal, athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear. Cute, this is easy. I'm gonna make her have a bunch of sunscreen on because we cannot get a sunburn. <laughs> I might get a hat too. I don't know how often we'll swim. We live in Mount Komorebi right now. So we aren't really uh, frequenting the pool these days. But I guess you never know. Ooh. Don't like the hat, maybe no hat. Maybe I'll get some sunglasses. I don't like those. These come in kind of a purpley color. It makes me think her makeup is stupid though. So maybe I won't wear it. <laughs> she can wear no makeup at the pool. I guess she might go to the hot springs, that's true. We can wear those little glasses. We did the hot weather, cold weather. Let's think. We have some really nice coat options. And we also have all of these coat options. I do love this one. Why do I feel like none of these are plum enough? This one is, but I don't like the shape of it. <sighs> that one is very bright. <laughs> um, this one has, it's just not purple enough. I think my yellow gen sim wore this. And it needs to be like, very appropriate for the cold because we live in Mount Komorebi. It gets cold. I wonder if we could try this or we could always do like, the coat is an heirloom too, maybe. See, this is not purple. Why are you classing that as purple? You're a liar. Should we try this? It's not that purple, but maybe we could try and like add to it. Is there a purple hat? Mm. Let's see. We have like the little purple beanie. We also have like, that is really bright. <laughs> okay, maybe this is better. That's okay. It's not warm enough. You think this isn't warm enough? Oh. Nothing is warm enough. It's so, maybe I can make this one work. I think, you know what, let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, no, don't use those boots. If we gave her this and then, are there any purple boots? They're a bit on the dark side. They're like not really the same color as the coat is. Maybe I could wear those though. Should we try gloves? I don't usually make my Sims wear gloves. Maybe they could be gray. 
Maybe we should just embrace this and then wear gray shoes. We can try and do some gray accents. It's okay, her family is the gray gen of not so very, she can wear gray accent colors. I don't really like any of the boots. Um, and it's definitely still purple overall. Yeah, exactly. Think the coat is too pink? Chicken pox, we tried every coat option in the game. I don't know if, uh, if we're gonna be able to find anything else that could work. We, we tried all of the coats. Maybe we could do a darker lip, because it's the winter. I feel like it still works. It still has the purple vibes. I think it's cute. I feel like she's ready. Uh, it counts as having custom content, but... That's because obviously the kids have custom content hair, but I'll stick them on the gallery for you. Yeah, and the hair brings out the purple in it. I feel like the hair helps, yeah. All right, let's go redo her bedroom, shall we? <laughs> we can set it all up. It's, a lot of it is probably okay. We'll just have to update it to be like slightly more. No, the twins aren't, uh, they're not the same age. Um, Mary, she, uh, like this sim, Raisin is a little bit older than her siblings. We had one baby and then we had twins. So the twins are younger. They were all kids, so people thought they were all triplets, but they just happened to overlap as children a few times. They're not triplets. Um, these ones have a little bit more time left. You can see they've got three days left. They're a bit younger, so. Yeah, everybody thought they were triplets because, uh, because they were all uh, kids at the same time for a little while, but they're not. Okay. Spoiled with four teen bedroom renos today. Oh my god, that's true. I posted <laughs> I posted a video on YouTube today uh, doing my legacy teen bedrooms for my YouTube series, and now we're doing it here. In in okay, for me, I filmed that a few days ago. Okay, I realize I posted it today, <laughs> but <laughs> we're uh, we're doing a lot of teen bedrooms. It seems at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna let's let's just revisit everything. And we'll see. I might end up using the same wallpaper again. I might not. You never know. Anything could happen. I can sell some of this. I actually kind of like this desk though. So maybe I'll leave that for a second. What carpet is that? Uh, this carpet is from the Pastel Pop Kit. Okay, colors. Purple. <laughs> How about this? No? No? It's purple. <laughs> we could do ghosts. These ghosts glow in the dark. It's kind of a different vibe. I will say that much at least. I almost want to keep the strawberries. I hate to say it, but the strawberries are pretty good. I kind of like them, so <laughs> I might just keep it. Let's look at every sort of purple bed. We could also always decide that we want to do like a- Okay, speaking of this, do you know what? This is giving me an idea. There's a really nice- I don't really want to combine those, but that is very much plum. You know? So that's, I guess, an idea to go for like this as the main color instead. But I don't know, we don't have to do that. No one said it has to be all plum. We can do any shade of purple we desire. Gamer bed, oh, scary bed. Sports bed. <laughs> that one's got a canopy bed. <laughs> This is the bed that we had used originally. Maybe it was the best one. Maybe we were right before when we picked that bed. I think we might have been right before when we picked that bed. 
Um, okay. Let's think about purple. I should do the purple can or the canopy. Sorry, I read two messages in my in my head at the same time. We should do the canopy lights, and then someone else said they hate purple. It's their least favorite color. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Uh, because there's gonna be a lot of purple in this one for probably a while. <laughs> Cause this is gonna be the purple gen of my not so berry challenge. <laughs> so from here on out, it's gonna be um it's gonna be purple. I like the color purple. It's one of my favorite colors, I think. Um, okay. Let me look at the, like, those canopy lights that we talked about from high school years. We saw so many people use these in, like, the coolest way. Um, in the, like, shell tours that we did. And we were inspired. I'm going to try myself. I don't know how I'm going to try, but I'm going to try. Should I put it like above the bed this way? Why does it feel so large? Those are ceiling mounted, so that helps at least. Um, I guess it can stay big and we can just put it in the corner. Does it come in purple? It does come in purple. I think I'm struggling with the placement of this. Should I put it by the door so they have to walk in like that? Move this. What if the bed was like centered under it? Maybe on the windows? I felt like it was weird on the windows, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was being dramatic. I felt like it looked weird on the windows though. Um, I feel like if I'm gonna do it with these canopy lights, I almost want to turn the bed maybe oh like this under the under it I was trying to do it this way instead because I didn't like how the canopy was longer than the bed is does that make sense it was annoying me oh god it was annoying me how the canopy was longer than the bed I think I just broke it I think it's disappeared I need to come back but I didn't I felt like it was um I don't know I didn't like how it was longer than the bed we'll figure it out though just you wait Okay. Well, let's load back and see if it fixed itself. What, do a desk there? Maybe, we had the desk there originally and I moved it. I'll figure it out. Guys, give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. We have, we're having issues with the bed not even loading properly. So one step at a time. If it will load, Evan, no life, and flesh, and moth, and Maddie, and snow, tulip, uh, Lou, and music. Thank you all for the subs, by the way. Like the desk beside the door. Okay, cool. <laughs> Everyone is telling me different things. Um, maybe a double bed? Yeah, we had a hard time finding one that we liked the color of, though. I know you might have just got here, but we the, the bed has been an ongoing issue. Even since pre- uh, this sim being a teen, we were having trouble with the bed even when uh, they were only a, a child, when they were a toddler. I mean, <laughs> we, we've really been through it with the beds. We've tried like every option there is. What if we tried to do like a slightly more, I don't know, I guess this is like a fancier version of the bedroom. We make it like more plum. And we, we do this instead. How about that? We can still use some of the light purple. And then maybe I could get like some dark accent colors. We can put the desk over there, you know, stuff like that. And we can have the dresser. The dresser is the exact same swatch, which I'm not sure if it's too much or not. 
but we can definitely use like a really pretty dresser somewhere. I do like the vibes of this. We'll have to get a nightstand. She's a teen, it's, too, it's not too much. That's true. When they're young, we can do whatever. Now is the time to really embrace it and just go all out, right? <laughs> uh, the bed and dresser is from the high school pack. So is the lights above the bed. All from the high school pack. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'll have to like give myself a selection of things, I think. Um, I want like a sort of fancy desk. I really like this one. It also matches the room. So maybe I'll use that. Not that chair. <laughs> I think the light purple chair is okay though. This could be good. She originally had a computer. I will probably give her back a computer. And then we need some cute things, like a little desk lamp that's slightly purple, that's nice. She can always have a salt lamp too. We can look at all of the purple clutter options. <laughs> we have some sort of cute, um, shelf type things that we can add, which will be fun. Like that guy is kind of cute. And then we need a bunch of like, uh, I don't know, desk office type of clutter. Like she'll need some books. I'll probably place these. Oh, makeup. Maybe she could use her desk like a vanity almost. So we could have makeup on one side and then also, I'm gonna put some more clutter on the nightstand, too. This one has a very large selection of vanity-type clutter. The salt lamp almost looks like a raisin, someone in chat said. You know, that's perfect then. <laughs> sure. Uh, what else? We need some like, oh, there's purple cookbooks. We'll keep that in mind for the future. Our future kitchen will be so pleased. Maybe she can have some books there for studying. Maybe wood floor instead of carpet. Mm, I really like the horrible carpet. It's really hard for me to uh, to let it go, but we'll see. <laughs> we will see, I promise. I will give it a shot. Slightly over, maybe. Nope, scoot back. Stop! Oh my god. Scoot back, okay. Into the wall, better, cuter. Isabel and Tweet and Nona and Dancing and Em, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Okay. I want to just place those for a sec. And then we can alt place this or raise it up at least. I'll let it sit in the shelf, kind of. All right. Oops, did I delete something good? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I like that little area. We can definitely get like some more slight decor options. Like maybe there could be a plant. We're gonna need probably a rug or some curtains, I mean. I really struggled with the curtains before. Also, the reason that I was avoiding the wood floor is because I kind of liked the shag rug in here, but I don't know. I don't know. Mirror and poster? Yeah, we're definitely gonna add some stuff like that in. One step at a time, though. One step at a time. 
How do you get VIP on my channel? Oh God, Moon Pearl, we don't, we're not like giving out VIP to anybody. Um, I use the VIP badge to like mark people that I know in real life that I don't want to miss their messages from. So like, for example, Dan's mom has a VIP badge. I'm not gonna mod her because I don't want her to feel like she's gotta be looking out for for bad messages. But like my friends, you know, family, stuff like that is who I give the VIP for. I don't really like the idea of giving out a VIP badge to people in chat. Um, it makes me feel a bit guilty almost. Like I don't really like the idea of denoting someone as very important versus someone else who is not like I just feel weird about that. So it's it's most people that I actually know that have the VIP badge. Um, if that makes any sense at all, uh, that's kind of what I was going for with it at least, and that's how I've used it in the past and how I'll keep using it. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, at least I have felt it does. Um, should we do like? Maybe I could just put some shades on these windows, because then I could still have them be purple. We can put the wood floor back. I don't know. I like the blinds, though. I think the blinds are good. What if we had, like, uh, you know those little cube shelves from Dream Home Decorator? What if we got ourselves a little cube shelf? Kind of on the floor, but sort of in front of the bed. Because I feel like in real life, this would totally, totally happen. You like the soft carpet? Oh god, someone else says, yay, the wood is beautiful. This is the problem. <laughs> no matter what I do, someone's gonna be like, I literally hate that and you should do it differently. <laughs> So bear with me, chat. I, I, I'm doing my best here. Um, it's a it's a weird one though, trying to do this sort of thing. Um, okay, she had a magazine stack before. Maybe she can have a magazine stack on top again. I wanted to see if anything fun, like one of my aliens, would fit in here, but it's kind of big. I think it animates, so I don't know if I should make it smaller or not. Oh, it's a dead blue slug. Oh, so it probably won't animate, so I could probably put it down there. Okay, good. And then... <laughs> uh, we can have, like, a piggy bank in the shelf. Um, what else? Books are good. Books are very good. Useful touch. Probably, like, a plant. Maybe, okay, let me see about scooting this dresser over a little, because I might get like a cute chair or something in here. Uh, Lily, if you're seeing the chat double, see if you can refresh, um, see if that fixes it. I'm not seeing that right now, but people have been saying, um, have been saying that recently, like it seems to be a problem on Twitch recently, at least a more common one, because people have been uh, pointing it out. It's. That's only on your end, as far as I'm aware, but see if you can refresh and maybe that'll fix it. I love the idea of a little chair in the corner. I think a little chair is perfect. Um, maybe I could try and put like some of the Dream Home Decorator boxes. With a standing lamp next to the chair. Oh, I <laughs> put a plant. Oh. Where did the bed come from? It's from the high school pack. We can do a reading lamp on this though. But yeah, the, the bed is from the high school pack. Dream home decorator. Some of these boxes are kind of nice because we can just throw that in there like for storage basically. Maybe she keeps her clothes and stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know. Colors, purple. She could have a purple lava lamp. That might be kind of fun. Um, can I see about like, 
placing these. They won't line up perfectly with the bed. Maybe I could do four, I guess. Because then we'd have a little bit more space. That might be better. I love the idea of a lava lamp, though. <laughs> I feel like that's quite fun. Oh my god. Placing this is so annoying. <sighs> okay. It is unfortunate they come with Strangerville. I know. Why did they have to do that? You put this great lava lamp in Strangerville, of all things. How could they? Okay, I'm trying to scoot this like that. I like the little faces on them. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe I can put the book there. And then what other like little things should I put? I should add a complimentary color. Okay, so Jill, I assume you might have just tuned in and not understand what we're doing. Um, this is the not so berry challenge. The goal is is not to have like complimentary colors and and maybe what you would normally do in a build. The goal in this is to literally have everything be purple in this room. Everything. And I'm not trying to exaggerate. Like, my goal is for everything to be purple in this room. Um, that's kind of how I prefer to play the Not So Berry Challenge, at least. <laughs> now, obviously, it's uh, up to whoever's playing. They can play however they want. It's not a big deal. But uh, that's kind of what I like to do with Not So Berry, so... Um, I personally would, <laughs> would keep it all this way. Um, oh, we could probably put, like, some of the hair stuff in there. That makes sense. But yeah, I, I understand that this might be a little bit weird if you're just tuning in and, and thinking, like, what the heck? Why is she doing that? It's horrible. But the whole rest of the house is gray because the previous generation is the gray gen. And this sim reason is the purple gen. So her whole room is purple. And then when she grows up, her entire house is going to be purple. Um, that's kind of how it goes, <laughs> basically. Um, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I, I wouldn't put in another color on purpose because I like it like this. Also, I think that sometimes in teen rooms, even if I wasn't trying to make a ridiculously purple room, it's kind of fun to like really embrace a silly color scheme in a teenager's room, so. Okay, I wanted to get like the clutter yoga mat. Also, this is a stereo, by the way. Um, we have a stereo right here. I don't know if she'll be doing a lot of dancing in this room. <laughs> uh, it's kind of small, so I don't know if she'll be doing a lot of dancing in here, but. Um, if for some reason she is, she does have a stereo, so that's good. We have our yoga mat. I was gonna put a mirror on this wall. And then... This is like a slightly more modern looking mirror, but I feel like that's okay for there to be like a bit of a, a mismatch of stuff, you know? And then we can do some posters and paintings and things too. I would very much like that. She's supposed to be kind of into science. We could have like this fun poster. And I wonder if we could do like a really tiny bunny photo on that wall. I did love these pictures. Should I put them above her bed? Maybe. I kind of like them. Maybe I could stack these together. Maybe I won't do the frame that color. I'll do like a black frame. Because then we can put these things on this wall together. And then I was thinking about getting like a hamper. Just the base game one, like the... Oh no. I might need to redo everything. <laughs> Hang on. Um, but I kind of want to get like the base game hamper. Um, 
so that we can put some folded clothes, maybe some dirty clothes with it. I like that idea. Can't you just rotate it? I mean, I could put it to the side, yeah, but I like it better because I feel like it lifts up. So I want it to be in the front. Um, it doesn't matter. If you wanted to just rotate the hamper, you could, but <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it like this. Uh, okay. I'll give her some dirty clothes too. We actually have the dirty clothes that came with the high school packs. Maybe I'll look at those. Makeup is clipping. Oh, I didn't scoot this back as far as I had before. And then I got to put this back in the wall a little bit more. I don't care if it's clipping. You're going to have to deal with it. It's the jewelry box and I don't care to do it again. <laughs> I simply don't care. Uh, okay, so the high school mess on the floor. This is the one that your sims can walk on top of, right? Is that correct? I don't think it will matter that much because it's kind of in the corner, so it should be a little bit out of the way. But I think they walk on that one, so that should be fine. And then I think the last thing I want to add into the bedroom is this little set of posters and calendar. I think it's cute. It's cozy. It looks like a high schooler's room. I feel like she will, will do well with that. It's also 9.40 p.m. So do you want to go do some yoga? <laughs> we don't have to stop yet. Christina Jess Keeks, thanks for the subs. All right. Save the game, shall we? Very, very nice. Is it time for Bran? Oh my God, I can get Bran off Christine's gallery. <gasps> okay, Christine made us a sim for Raisin to Date named Bran, Raisin Bran. Um, <laughs> so we can go get Bran off Christine's gallery too. Oh, this is exciting. Very, very exciting. Yoga came with spa day, Anastasia. So um, basically Raisin, for her life, she's gonna have the genius, non-committal, and dance machine traits, renaissance sim aspiration. She's gonna join the fast food career as a teen. She'll be a doctor. She'll quit the doctor career and become an entertainer. <laughs> um, she has to finish the dance skill and two other skills. We also have to achieve at least level eight in six other skills. Um, and we have to get divorced and later remarried to the same sim. We have to move around a lot. We've got a lot of stuff that we have to do. Um, she has to have a lot of hobbies. So we're, we're saying yoga is one of them. <laughs> um, let me grab Christine's sim raisin though. Yeah, we've got a lot of skills to do. That's part of the aspiration though. That's not just my fault. Um, okay. Uh, Mrs. Tomato. Oh, bye Hope, thanks for hanging out, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, granola. Millie, grain, bran, <laughs> rice. <laughs> oh my God, this is the Sim family that Christine made for us. The granola family is anything but bland. Millie is a romantic who loves working in her garden and writing her novel on her lunch breaks at work. Grain is a chef who moonlights as a DJ in his free time and his ambition is to climb to the top of Malcolm Rebbe. Bran is a social party animal who only slows down if he accidentally drinks a glass of milk. <laughs> and Rice is an adventurous kid with an individual style. And family dog Oatmeal is very high energy and outgoing. <laughs> Hashtag brand. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> Christine, Christine used her own hashtag, my hashtag, hashtag brand. <laughs> I love the dog oatmeal though. That is so cute. Okay, it seems like honestly, these Sims, obviously Christine made them on purpose for us, but like story wise, I feel like it makes a lot of sense. Like it seems like one of the parents would probably know Eric. Like if they're both chefs, maybe they met at work. He loves like mountain climbing. So he's probably in town a lot. You know, like it, it seems, oh, let's give him a mansion. They deserve a mansion. Oh, don't move in. No, 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 evict. 
Oh, it's unfurnished because the Sims that used to live here died. A branchin, a brand mansion. <laughs> Anyway, a lot of the houses in this world are empty because, um, because the Sims have died and taken all their furniture with them. Do you think someone has re-uploaded this lot to the gallery and I could re-download it? Did I ever renovate this? I built this. But did I ever renovate it? Probably. Let me just copy-paste into the search bar and we'll see if we can get it back. Yeah, I wish they didn't take the furniture when they died either. I don't really understand why they take the furniture when they die. Did you renovate your own build? Yeah, I must have. Um, no, that's why they're empty. Yeah, because when the Sims die, they take all the furniture. So you might see like the goth family's house is empty. <laughs> the gallery thumbnail? Oh my god! So... That is lovely. That is just lovely. I'm trying to filter my most popular in case I can find... Any version of it. Honestly, if anybody, like, renovated it... I don't intend to play here. This is the snowy version. I steal. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to have furniture. <laughs> so they have a house. Um, yeah, the tree is really something, isn't it? The tree is really, really something. Oh, they added a bunch of stuff to the backyard. That's kind of fun. Cool. They got a zebra rug in there. Added an addition onto the upstairs. Cool. I'll just leave it, because that way Oatmeal has some furniture. Maybe we can build them a house at some point this week. <laughs> um, but we'll just leave it. Basically, I just wanted them to have a house, you know? I don't really care what the house looks like. I just want to have a house. <laughs> and then we'll probably really quickly... Um, let me mark this household as... Um, let me... Uh... Ooh... Enable neighborhood stories for my households. I thought I had this. It must have gotten rid of it. You aren't allowed to move. I think you're allowed to have babies. I don't know you. But that way you guys can... Oh, the baby was born! Oh my gosh, we should go meet it. Okay, so we'll make a club with teens and we'll go meet the baby. It's fine if they die. I don't mind if they die. They just can't move. If they move, I get confused. Yeah, and the kid aged up into a teen as well. But yeah, when the Sims that I've placed moved around, it really throws me off. I don't like it, because I need to know where they are. You know? <laughs> don't let Bran die. If Bran died, I'd just, I would just re-download him. I would just get Bran back. <laughs> um, what kind of club are we in? What should it be called? Age teens. Uh, we've got a cousin that we can add, which will be fun. And then we can also add in... Did I scroll past him? Bran. Oh, maybe there's too many teens and I can't add Bran to the club. <gasps> Breakfast club, that's funny. Okay, filter by his trait. Yeah, Christine, what traits did he have again? I don't remember. I know I have the dance machine trait. Lactose intolerant, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll filter by, by those two. And then we can add brand, there we go. Basically you have to filter by at least one trait that you have. Bonnie could be in the club too. We'll add Bonnie and we'll add our cousin. 
And then maybe we can be friends with... I always liked the name Theo. This sim's name is Ayla and my name is Kayla. So that'll do. <laughs> okay, so we've got the club ready, brands ready. Next time we play, we'll be able to um, befriend him <laughs> and then date him. And then for now, the last thing I wanna do before I get off stream is go over and meet my new cousin. Kato John, thank you for the 35 months, by the way, and Aaron and Hunter and Say It and Jay, thank you so much. Um, so they do anything in the club? No, it's just for me to meet Sims. <laughs> I can always change it so they like to cook or something later, but I find them kind of annoying when the clubs like them to cook because then they cook so much. And there's like cakes everywhere and it's just too much. Okay, where's the baby? Here is the baby. Here, I'll come take care of it. Stay away! I was gonna take care of the baby. Now you're playing in the guitar? Your dad's trying to sleep, and your little brother is over here crying, and you're playing the guitar? It's ridiculous. You're playing the guitar now too? <laughs> Tom! Its name is Tom McCloud. <laughs> I think that's cute. Tom is a nice name. Anyway, I'm gonna try and like play with it a little bit because I gained some parenting skill from this. The more parenting skill, the better, as far as I'm concerned. We need to max the parenting skill, so I'm gonna keep it up. Should we just stay here all night and like talk to the baby? <laughs> and maybe until we get level 9. How about that? It's going so well. See? And then once we go home, we can like max the skill at home with our family. It's 3 a.m. All right, come on, you're almost there. Don't pee your pants. No, finish. So close, 89%, 91%. You got this, bottle feed again. Come on. It's almost Barney's birthday, oh God. Come on, no, don't age up, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I did it anyway. I age up the baby. I'm just gonna go home. I'm just gonna go home. I. I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> I'm done. We got really close to level nine, that's fine. I think that rug is from high school years, Miss. I'm pretty sure, the, like the black one with the flowers. Um, I think I was really excited about using it when high school years first came out, so. Yeah, just casually aging up other people's babies. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> anyway, I think on that note though, I'm gonna run and use the bathroom so he doesn't pee his pants. And then I'll probably end the stream here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at the, are you trapped? A fire has started? Are you serious? And you finish making the, what? Oh God, she's on fire. Extinguish self. See, she ran inside. That's bad. <sighs> Hello? Oh my god. Here's Raisin's first ever fire. Well, that she could put out herself. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. On that note, we're done. <laughs> so we'll um we'll we'll cut this here. We'll be back on stream tomorrow. I'm not gonna play Sims tomorrow. We're actually gonna play Among Us with some friends tomorrow, um, but we will play Sims on Friday. So that's the plan for the next couple of days on stream. Um, there was only one death today, Ghibli. My dog died. Our dog named Gus died, unfortunately, um, which was quite upsetting, but we made it through. Uh, but anyway, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I've really, really enjoyed this. You know I love uh, the Not So Very Challenge. It's always fun. Um, and let me go see who all is live and who we shall raid. 
I think that maybe, maybe, maybe we could go over to my friend. You know what? Let's go raid Emrys. Um, Emrys is going to be playing Among Us with us tomorrow. Um, also, I don't know what we're building, but that looks really good. <laughs> so I want to watch the build, I think. Um, let's go over and say hello to Emrys, I think. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Happy Wednesday. And I will catch you all in the morning, okay? Anyway, Emrys has some really nice CC. I noticed that the other day, too. I'm excited to see it. Um, but have a great night. I love you. I miss you all already. Okay, okay, goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.